Welcome to Dwarven Forge. This is everything you need to know about our terrain in 60 seconds. Ready? Let's go. We hand sculpt our pieces for maximum detail and artistry, infusing passion into every millimeter of our work. Everything is available beautifully hand painted so you can start playing right away. Or you can choose unpainted to paint everything yourself. Our pieces are completely modular so you can use the same sets to create a new adventure every time. Most pieces have embedded anchor magnets that affix to our terrain trays for secure building and for revealing rooms as your players discover them. We create everything out of Dwarvenite, our top secret PVC formula that's nearly indestructible. We pack our pieces with as many features as possible, such as swappable LEDs to quickly change the look of your scene. We offer magnetic accessories to add flavor or increase the danger. A one inch tactical grid is sculpted into our floors, hidden in dungeon flagstones, natural rocks, or sticks and plants. In addition to sculpted pieces, we make terrain trays to use as a vibrant graphic base for your build. We offer a range of environments, including dungeons, caverns, cities, castles, sewers, forests, mountains, streets, burrows, ice, and hellscape. And that's just the beginning. We have a passionate fan base who can tell you all about it. And that's everything you need to know about Dwarven Forge in 60 seconds. The games we play are the stories we create. The fortress doors swing open. Every story is unique. And the sound of war drums rises. Sometimes our stories come to us when we least expect them. ready no matter where inspiration strikes. And sometimes our stories are told over great distances. No matter where your journey leads you or how your story is told. The games we play are the stories we create. Sirenscape can help make yours epic. Sirenscape is searchable, fast, and customizable from any device with no need to pre-install any sound. Adding epic atmosphere to your game has never been easier. and welcome to episode six of Into the Mist, our official Curse of Strahd campaign. Um, last week, we ran into some technical issues because we had this awesome new setup. This week, I think it's working. We're, we're, we're in good shape for this week. I cannot wait to uh, dive in, but we'll go through these announcements really super quickly. First of all, of course, as always, want to thank Dungeons & Dragons for creating this incredible game that we play week in and week out. Uh, I want to thank our first main title sponsor, Hero Forge. Hero Forge has an amazing online tool for creating awesome miniatures um, and avatars and other things. You can check out at HeroForge.com all of our... Uh, player character miniatures and some of the other fun stuff that we have are all Hero Forge creations, including uh, Big Sterling, which I was going to pull up, but I don't have here. Uh, he's awesome. Also want to thank Beetle and Grimm's. Beetle and Grimm's is our second main title sponsor. Uh, they create premium boxed adventures for your D&D uh, experience and other tabletop games as well. You can check them out at beetleandgrims.com. Um, we have a bunch of awesome stuff from them, including this cool label uh, that they sent from their Chris of Strahd box and that awesome Chris of Strahd box, which we use a lot of in-game. And now people can actually have stuff because we're at the table and Adam can wear this. Adam, step forward and we'll just throw that on to Adam. Anyways, thank you so much for, uh, to Beetle and Grimms for your support. And then our third main title sponsor is Sirenscape. Sirenscape has an incredible online tool for adding mood and sound um, to your tabletop gaming experiences. You can check them out at www.sirenscape.com slash realmsmith. We have Sirenscape throughout the entirety of our uh, stream, which should be playing now, hopefully. There it is. Whoa. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we use them every single week. 
um, and we love them. And you can check out also all this stuff that we've created for them uh, by en entering Rumsmith into the search bar on the Sirenscape website. Uh, myself and Omega and a bunch of other DMs as well as Dave and Brandon are all going to be at D3 at C. You can check them out at d 3 atccom uh, It is a D&D &D themed event on board a cruise ship that is in March. We're so excited to do that. It's going to be amazing. We're also going to be at Gen Con. Uh, we can't talk about what we'll be doing there yet, but we will see you at Gen Con. It'll be myself, Julian, and Joel, it sounds like. So um, stay tuned for more information about what we're doing there, but we're just excited to be at Gen Con for the first time. Yeah. We've never actually been at Gen Con before, which I'm very, very pumped about. If you're interested in checking out our Discord, we have an awesome Discord community uh, that you can actually join for free and check out all kind of the open uh, channels to support the channel. Uh, and if you love what we do, that's a great way to support us by becoming a patron. Uh, if you do join Patreon, at some of the tiers, you can actually become a Vistani and play within the world that our live stream exists in of Barovia. Um, and you can craft items and search for things and uh, items in the in the uh, environment. You can talk to some of the cast members when they show up. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's incredible experience. Uh, definitely check that out. You can kind of come into the lower tier if you want just to test it out, become a townsperson um, and interact with some of the Vistani. And then if you enjoy it, you can uh, upgrade and there's all kinds of benefits and benef uh, benefits and benefits. Mm, um, both of them, all of those, them, all the benefits things. and the benefits yeah. at higher levels. So many of them. Uh, it's really great. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, for those of you who enjoy listening instead of watching, a podcast are available uh, for Into the Mist on all podcast platforms. Uh, last week, we announced Champions of the Realm. It is our new show that we're starting production in September. September 1st production begins. We're now in pre-production. It is basically a PvP experience where uh, celebrities will play idol champions characters face-to-face, one-on-one. So we want to thank Dungeons & Dragons and Idol Champions as our main sponsors. Um, and we're very excited for the show. It's going to be great. Um, we're just finalizing the cast, and it's pretty incredible, and it's going to be a blast. So stay tuned for more info on that. want to thank, of course, our Smith Guardians, uh, who are our content providers and those that run our Discord and are kind of the backbone of what we do, and then our Realm Watchers as well, who are our uh, moderators on our Discord channel. We do have merch. You can check it out under the videos. That's another great way to support the channel. Lots of fun stuff there from both of our streams. Um, hopefully we'll be doing Aftermath this week if this episode goes well. That is Thursday night at 8 p.m. Kind of a behind the scenes look uh, of what everything that we do here at Realm Smith means and does, uh, as well as uh, a, a chat with some of the cast members regarding this past episode. Uh, that should be fun. If you like what you see tonight, consider subscribing. Share it. Hit that bell icon to be notified. Notify. Notified. Notified. <laughs> notified. <laughs> be to be notified. Uh, that's. Uh, I think the word is notification. Uh, no, notificated. To be yeah. notificated. Um, Realm Smith. Copyright 2021. <laughs> um, notificated. And uh, follow us on Twitch. Without further ado, let us venture into the mist. <laughs> Nailed it.
Welcome. Yes. We have multi-view working. We have everyone on the screen at once. This is something that we've wanted to do for some time. Um, we're actually still waiting on a bunch of new equipment for uh, the studio as well, so that, oh dear. Why? See? <laughs> now I'm regretting it. Immediately. Immediately regretting Because before we could just turn certain people off. And, no, uh, this is... Oh, this you can never mute me! Look what you've done! This is why. This is why we can't... This is, this is why we need to go back to virtual. Uh, <laughs> all right, last time we left you guys, um, you were at the Blue Water Inn. You spent a whole episode in the hallway of dolls. The Halls of Dolls. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hallway to Hell is what I like to call yes. it. Yes, it's certainly um, called that way. Yeah. Dollway, if you will. Uh, <laughs> the Dollway. <laughs> the Dollway? Oh man, that's good. Um, and uh, basically what happened is you found out that Falfer and, uh, what's your name, Travas, um, were transported into uh, dolls via Carionette. Um, and you were managed to free them. They are now free, um, but the commotion has alerted some guards. Uh, guards that saw you and then reported your presence at the Burgomaster's mansion, which is now on fire and all kinds of things. Um, as the session was ending, you were trying to find a way out. There were guards coming up the back stairs. Um, Sterling turned across the open chasm of the Blue Water Inn and uh, saw that chandelier, Sterling, that you have wanted to best for a season or two now. Oh, yeah. And um, you made that jump. You did. And then we ended the session, so we don't know what you rolled. Everybody just heard. I, but you just said I made the jump. No. Well, you... You, <laughs> you left. You, you attempted. A leap. Made adjacent is, is where you're at. Okay, mm -hmm. so you... You started that jump, and we had a whole chandelier montage. Um, what did you roll? I rolled an eight. That's believe, unfortunate. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Jump Maybe. distance, if you get a running start, is your strength score. What is your strength score? 15. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming you did back up. You made that 10. That's fine. So you have enough space to do it. But with an eight, it's going to be tough. I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw, please. Dexterity saving throw. This is how we start off the day 14 okay with a 14 you go to jump and you miscalculate you're small sterling now too aren't you mm. oh mm. so small sterling does that change your strength at all or you're still you maintain the same i don't think it's i think omega cast reduce on you yeah i don't know what the rules of reduce are but either way doesn't matter you go across and as you, you think you're going to make it you start to lose height um, as you are, you misjudge the, the, the size that you are now compared yeah. to what you were before. And as you do, your finger just, or your hands just slightly grip the side of the chandelier as it's like, goes because you're a little sterling <laughs> at this point. It's a fairly heavy chandelier. You all see this. He is now hanging on um, onto the chandelier in the middle. Uh, as mentioned before, it is empty below. There is nobody in the Blue Water Inn currently below you, but across the way, you can still see Irwin out, out, at his doorway. Doorway just open a little bit, basically calling you all over. What do you all do? It, this is not like a wrap around balcony, right? It is. Right? Actually, no, it? no, it's a straight hallway. So it's a straight, so your room was at the end, straight hallway to the other door to the outside, two doors on the right, this one being es uh, Esmeralda's and uh, Noggin's room. Right. Then there's a balcony on the left of the hallway and then it's open to the to the oh. common. And there's not door. a balcony, there is a balcony on the other side. On the though. other side, yes. yes, yes. Opposite, but it doesn't opposite do the chandelier. you all no, the way across. No, okay. it's just two lanes. Fair enough. Hmm. What do you do? Are we in initiative order right now? You are not, uh, okay. but you do hear those footsteps approaching quickly. Uh, okay. I'd like to, to take my rope and tie it to the railing so I can rappel. Down? Yeah, What? what else, where is he going to go? He's hanging from a chandelier with no forward momentum. <laughs> I, I can, I where, can where climb. He? Okay. He's, he's, well, uh, what's he going to climb to, the ceiling? I trust you, Brandon. No, my, there my are three of these chandeliers okay. across the, the, the expanse of this 
of this open area. Yeah. But, uh, Can any of you jump that far? Okay. Having seen Anybody? having seen Sterling attempt yeah. it. Yeah. I can try. I, I, I feel I feel like yeah. I, it, are you are you uh, are you seriously challenging me right now? Let's think, do it and I, I jump think, across. No. Okay. Give me a, a, a acrobatics or strength I will allow you to, to let me know what you Okay. A- athletics or acrobatics, sorry. Okay, I will tell you momentarily what that looks like. Um, now, what was I'm sorry. Mm. There did we hear a noise? Was there a re, was there any patrons left in the tavern at this point? What was no, the situation? There, so there's nobody left in the, in the common area at all below you, below mm-hmm. the, the chandeliers. Um, they've cleared out because of the commotion and the fight that was happening inside. But you, you right, heard okay. uh, guards coming up the stairs. You just came up from outside. Okay. And that's the only way out, other than windows and the chandeliers. Okay, and so we've Irwin's got. And calling you guys across. So our options are window, chandelier, or guards. Was or there, guards. Or, or guards. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, that that makes all sense now. Now, now I can see the chandeliers. Like, I, yes. <laughs> yeah. Do it. So I, so I'll, I'll do the athletics check if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. so that lands me with a, uh, a twelve. A twelve. Oh, I thought that was a one. No, it looks like oh, a, it looks it like does, a one, but it it's does, a seven. It's okay, a seven, yeah. with a twelve. Yep. Okay. Uh, with a 12, you barely kind of, you hit the, the side of the chandelier with mm-hmm. your feet, and you do one of these to kind of stop okay. yourself, Whoa. and then you grab onto the chains. Okay. You're on the same one as he is. Oh. It sways slightly as it's at, at, <laughs> with the momentum of both of your weight on it okay. currently. Okay, I, uh, I'll i uh, swing it, and I'll, I'll see. Hey, you feel that, my friend? That is the sound of childhood, and I'll uh, I'll try to swing it even bigger okay. in an attempt to reach the other side, jump off, Onto the other ledge. Okay, I will allow it because of your movement. Mm-hmm. You do have thirty feet of movement. It's only twenty foot across, so yep. I'll allow you to continue the way across. Okay. Um, because you did the dexterity check, basically the rest of your movement was just kind of saving yourself. Um, so you jump across. Give me one more. And is check. he about my size right now? He probably would be. Yeah, small, right? Yeah, small. Yeah, you're both small. So I'll turn to Sterling and I'll go. Uh, well, you hey. look, look down at him as he's hanging on. Oh right, he's the... hanging. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, don't worry, this is how you do it. And I'll, uh, and I'll swing, yeah. swing back and forth, and then attempt across another athletics check. Is that yes. okay? Yes. Okay. Um, this time. It's a 19. Okay. This time, no problem. You basically swing across. You swing it enough. It doesn't reach the other side. No. Nope. It closes the distance a little bit. You jump across. You land on the banister and then on the ground. Okay. Erwin having the door open for you. Um, at, when he sees you land, he, he retreats into the room, leaving his door open slightly. Okay. I'll turn and wait for Sterling to make his move, and just in case he does like not quite. And do that. he's and you can see that Irwin's room is is across. So from where your room was, it's across the op- the open area okay. on the balcony on the opposite side. Okay. So he was kind of around the corner, and then you saw him kind of move into the room. Okay. Um, and then there's another door, right across from where you were with the thing. Yes. But that's not the door he was in. He was in his room, which is to the right at okay. the end of the hallway. So I'm okay. Fair enough. Okay. I'm, um, as you do that, I would like the two of you to make perception checks, please. As who is going next? I will. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. <laughs> Uh, oh. Just seeing how Falford like hop topped, I'll follow along and I'll say, "Hold on, Sterling," and I'll jump. <laughs> oh. In plate? Are you in half plate? What are you in? Uh, yeah, because he's he's tiny. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be good. 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 Yep. Athletics check. Okay. Uh, I rolled a twenty-seven, by the way, on my perception check, okay. which is a natural twenty plus yeah. seven. You hear the door? The door to the inn below you open. Mm. Leading into the common area. Do and, I have any and, s- and rushed kind of loud voices? Can I make any sense out of like who might be coming in? Does it sound like guards? With a twenty-seven, you imagine it would be. Okay, well, I think they're in here. Okay, with a dirty twenty, what do I get from all this? Yeah, with a dirty twenty, same thing. You both hear them say that. You hear an additional. Some of them went upstairs. We'll go in through here. I and they start to kind of come through, and you hear like. I crouch what? down Time on to one hurry knee. Up. Yeah, I crouched down on one knee point and looked at Sterling and go, you, you must come, go, let's go. That was uh, 27. Okay. To reach the chandelier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, Oof. no problem across. As it comes, kind of comes back, as it's starting to go again, you just 
leap through your hair, just oh, yeah. fluttering in the wind <laughs> as you land on it, no problem. I'm gonna allow you to use that roll to then finish it in one movement. You jump what? on it when it's close, over, you land nicely, I, superhero stance on the other side. I want, well, I wanted to grab Sterling and fling him. <laughs> okay. Kenny. Yes, I will allow you the action, because the movement is the jump, but for an action, I would like you to give me a dexterity check for that, please. No improvised weapon? No. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not, he's not attacking by a sterling. Just dexterity Just is a, a 10. Okay. Uh, can you also give me a dexterity check, please? Yeah. Sterling, you do check, this. not save, right? Yeah, let me say check. This. Ooh. What is it? Uh, <laughs> that's why I said like, Ooh. So that's a total of four. Okay. Yeah. So as you come across, it's really good, and you think that if you stop, you go to grab him, and he's too low, and so you think if you try to grab him, you'll abandon this great momentum that you have, and so you have to make the split decision while you're on the chandelier to either grab him or continue this perfect movement of a jump. Hmm. Because then you'd have to stop on the chandelier. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I... I'll... I'll continue. Yeah. But on my way. Yeah. As I miss you yeah. by grabbing you, I'll say, "Wait for the backswing and reach the other side." Okay. Okay. So it's closer. Okay. No. Got it. No. <laughs> Superhero stance on the other side. You're fine. Esmeralda or Dave? I think I'll look at Esmeralda and say, uh. "I don't think I can do this," and I'll back up and run and try to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no way I can do fair, this. Fair, fair. Okay. All right. Uh, what, what kind of what? You uh, want athletics or um, acrobatics? Oh. Um, Esmeralda, you mm -hmm. notice as you're at the back of the party, Noggins says something to the effect of like, "Forget this," and he disappears back into the room that oh. you stay in. What? Wait. But uh, I will not uh, go after him. Okay. I'm distracted by the sound of her yelling, wait. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why did you roll? This might be okay. I, I rolled a 10. Um, my second story work feet yeah. oh. allows me to move an additional four feet with a running jump. Okay. Huh. So what, what did you roll? A 10. Give me a dexterity. I will face palm myself with a mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that, that needs to be illustrated somewhere. Yes, that's it. <laughs> dex, dex saving? Oh my god. Oh man. Dex saving? Yeah. Or dex, oh, dex saving throw. Well, that's better actually. It's a 14. Hmm. Okay. Uh, are you doing the same as him? The same me? chandelier? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we're all kind of in the middle. Like, okay. I'm not gonna well, it's, it's the far left one. So there's a, you're on the far left one right across. There's two there's more. three chandeliers total. Yeah, there's three chandeliers total. Yeah, but I'm not going to go down the hall. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm just gonna... So you jump to that one. I would like to get you to give me another dexterity save, please, as he jumps across. <laughs> wow. Sterling's just like... <sighs> Nine? Oh! Okay. Wait, ten. Ten. Okay, you managed to hold on as his, the, the weight of him... Was that an acrobatics check, or was that a... That was um, athletics. Okay, so you just try to like strong uh, uh, that that fight through it basically. Like instead of doing it dexterously. Sorry, sorry, it yeah. was acrobatics. It was acrobatics. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you try to vault the thing in one go, yeah. and as you do that, you just misjudge the swing of this, and unfortunately, it starts to swing away out of your reach, and you grab it, and now you oh. are also hanging on the side <laughs> beside. I'll small turn step. back. And I'll, why am I waiting? What am I waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call him. Sterling you wanted to go first. Yeah. yeah. Why did you tell me to wait? <laughs> <laughs> He's now known as Sterlingling. Um, nice. The, the smaller Sterling. Yeah. Uh, we we Sterling. As Morelda, you're up. Sterling. As you hear shuffling in the vestibule downstairs, oh. and the curtain, you can hear the whoosh, curtain open that leads into this common area. Uh, good. Ah, good. No, yeah. not not good. Esmeralda will absolutely cirque to Soleil her way around the uh, yes. those, okay. through those chandeliers okay. with an acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That is an eighteen. Nice. Nice. Yeah, no problem getting across. 
Uh, in fact, you kind of like grab on and kind of like use your momentum to swing around the chain, kind of allowing it not to, sh to shake too much. Uh, and you can continue with that 18 across if you want. Okay. Steadily or or I could amazing. roll again. No, roll it's okay. Again. You, you, uh, I'm allowing the 18 to, to continue the jump if you want. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so you swing across and you make it cleanly over beside uh, Adam. So in f in fear of losing, uh, it's Martikov, right? On the other side? Or? Yeah, yeah Irwin. Yeah. Er Irwin, yeah. yeah. I'll just, I'll go to the door, seeing that my friends are clearly gonna make it across, no problem at all, and just go to the door and make sure that he's in there. Can I go yeah. check? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you head down the hallway. Give yeah. me a perception check. Okay. Uh, yes, that's a plus. Uh, it's a nine. Okay, so as you come through, you 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 like basically step barge into his room, and you stop in the room, and at first you don't see where he's gone. Okay, and you kind of look around, you take in the room, knowing very well that there is a, a hidden door at the back of the room that leads into the uh, yes, into the, the top loft. That's right. The okay, loft. um, back to the top of the order is, is Sterling. All right, so I'm gonna pull myself up. I'm assuming that's what half movement. Yep. Okay, so I still have 20 feet of movement, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to wait for this thing to crest and go with the momentum. You go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fly like Buzz Lightyear. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> give it to me. All right. You look, you kind of look like him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the dome, chrome dome, and the. That's, a, uh, that's an eight again. Dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sterling yeah. just not. So fair enough. Oh it's a nine. Okay. Is that a d20 you're rolling? I am rolling a d20. Okay. Uh, I swore it looked a, like a d10. I, to I me. may need a different one. <laughs> this is like, this this nice one. Dimitri's got like a hundred here. Oh, cool. nice. Okay, okay. so, so as you, 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 you get your way up and you run across, and unfortunately your foot falls through kind of where the spokes of the chandelier are, mm. uh, and it trips you up a little bit. So yeah. as you jump, you grab the edge of the of the banister, and your fingers slip, <gasps> and you tumble into the common area. You no. hit the floor. You take four points <gasps> of bludgeoning damage. Ah, as no. you hit the floor, and as you do that, yeah, two guards enter <laughs> the the common area, um, and. And that's where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> 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 um, and as soon as they do that, they level their crossbows up oh in your direction. They God. fire two bolts. <gasps> yeah. Right where beside are you. these guys in the initial? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. so At this point, terrible. Let's roll initiative. Oh, thank you. Dang. All right. Try. No. Three. Roll a seven. Okay. Twenty to twenty-five. No one? No. <laughs> 15 to 20. No! 19. 19? Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I need one of these to go up here. Oh, oh uh, that's, that's terrible so, news. 19? Yeah. Uh, no more 15 to 20s? No. Oh, dear. Uh, 10 to 15. You oh, broke 11. Me. Uh huh? 11. 11. Yeah. Use the fake boss one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 11. Oh, 13. 13 for me. 13. Okay. Uh, 5 to 10? 7. Oh, dear. Dimitri. Dimitri, did you give Three. away your only good oh, one? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh. Give me that one back. Can you this back? <laughs> you have no initiative okay, at all. Okay, so he has hit the floor. <laughs> Um, they have just gone, so we'll go to Falfer next. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so I'm in the room. I don't even know that this happened because I just went no. and checked on this dude. Uh, perception check. Okay. Oh, no, you already did one. It was low. You didn't hear it happen. Okay. It all kind of happens at the same time. What do you okay. Mean? Uh, I'll I'll just. I, I don't know that I want to meta this. I'm going to. Meta how? Well, I, if I don't hear outside the hall, I'm just going to yeah, continue you don't, you down. You don't know that. Combat's happening. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the to the loft door and wait there. I yeah. Guess? So as you approach the loft door, you see that it's open just like a half an inch. Okay. So from the, the direction you were, it looked like a wall, but as you kind of come across, you see that there's a little bit of a, of a slice of light coming through. Okay. The other direction. So I'll go through the loft door and yeah. cl attempt to close it to the same degree that it is currently open. You know what I okay. mean? So, yeah. Okay. So as you go to the other side, Erwin is standing in the lodge and he's like, "What is the rest of you?" Uh, they're on the chandelier. Oh dear. 
Okay. So, uh, Travas, you're next. Sterling, you're on deck. I'd like to climb up to up the chandelier so that I'm standing on the top okay. of it. Okay, so you pull yourself up. That's and half your movement. So, with uh, second story work, uh, climbing doesn't cost me extra movement. Okay, nice. then you are still full movement. Me, and I'm going to... Oh, well... Uh, I would use a... a little, five. Like, five. Yeah, five feet. Okay. Good, good rolling. Yeah. I'm going to take my rope and I want to throw it to Esmeralda or, or uh, Dimitri if they're still out there. Okay. Take my rope! Okay. <laughs> I'm going to throw it to them. Okay, dexterity check. That's assuming we'll catch it. Who are yeah. you throwing it to? De- dexterity <laughs> dexterity you. checks on both of you I'm throwing as it well, please. At the all group. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Collectively. Oh, good. You know what? Maybe wait on your ro- roll. Uh, no. I rolled an eight. <gasps> okay, well, let's see what I they roll. I rolled a natural one. Oh, no. I'm not using digital dice anymore. I'm going to take a break from you, digital okay. dice. Uh, I, I rolled a five 11? total, but okay. still. All right, so you, th- you toss the rope. And Esmeralda, you think you got this. Like, you have never caught a rope like you've caught this rope. And you go to grab the rope with that natural one, and you pull so hard that it pulls it out of <laughs> out of Travas's hand. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And the rope kind of now, now dangles down to the common area. But she's holding the other end? Yeah. Sterling, grab the rope! <laughs> and no, I'm going to... The rope is dangling, though. Down to where the... he is? Yes. Oh, a rope right. falls just near you. So I will call the Sterly to, to grab the rope. Uh, uh, what can I do now? Can I try to move? Yeah. So I will try. That was an action. Now you can do try your jump. I will try to, to jump okay. now that I have no Okay, Acro- acrobatics check. And I have no choice <laughs> at all. Oh, man. At least you have a 17. Okay. Oof. 17. You get across. Yeah! Jump, jump the, the banister. You're now on the other side with the, the three of you are all together. Sterling, you're up. All right. Esmeralda, you're on deck. Uh, climbing is half movement, right? Yes. Okay, so I can climb up 20 feet. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you start to climb. Give me an athletics check because it is a sheer wall. Well, there's a That's rope sheer there. wall. Oh, the rope. The rope. You don't have, so you don't even need a climbing check. Sorry. I apologize. You're right. So yeah, and, and it's imagine that these ropes have like knots in them, and it makes it easy to 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 to, to, to climb. So no problem. You climb the 20 feet. Uh, actually, I don't know how high these are, uh, but I'm going to say the 20 feet is more than enough to get up to the top of the railing and then over. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. As Esmeralda, you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. How high are these chandeliers? Uh, they're basically like just higher than the banister from where you are. So, how many feet from the ground? Uh, they would be about 15 feet. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I will not fireball the dudes on the ground. <laughs> I will instead uh I'll 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 hit one with a firebolt. Okay. Mm. All right. Go ahead. Um there's two you said? Yep. The one that that first shot that crossbow bolt. Yep. Nice. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. That's a hit. For 10 points of fire damage. Nice. Okay. Got it. And I. And can't, as, I can't as you move, hit him, he like. So. He, you hit, it, the fireball hits him square in the chest so hard that he drops his crossbow and he like stumbles yes. backwards into the back wall. Oh, yeah. And there's like, it's smoldering. His clothes start going on fire. The one beside him kind of looks at, back at him and looks up at you, quite afraid. <laughs> um, go ahead, Dimitri. Or do you want to move at all, Esmeralda? Uh, well, I mean, can I move to another chandelier to make room for? What, what? You said there's no. There's you you, you made your way across with that eighteen. You oh, were I able did. to make yeah. You were able to make your you're you're on the opposite balcony, safely. Okay, I want to make sure that everybody else gets to safety before I move. Okay. Um. So I'll, I'll stay where I am right now. Okay. All right. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Okay. Did Valfer come back from No, that? he's still in the room. He still disappeared the room. around the corner into the room. Okay. Um, then I'll, since you're over on our side now, and Esmeralda's waiting for all this to go, I'll say, let's go, let's go. And I'll follow where Valfer went and um, use my movement to do that. Okay. 30 puts you, from where you were, 30 puts you right in front of the door. Okay. And you look in the door, so there's an open door. You see just the room that it is. You remember, with you and Roan, back in that corner, there is a secret door somewhere along that wall. You've never actually seen it, I don't think, from this side, actually. But you know that there's a secret door back in that corner. 
Um, and the room, uh, large double bed, large hearth, and you can you know that this is Erwin's room. You've seen it before, the canopy bed and so on. Hmm. And is Erwin in there? No, it's oh. empty. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll dash just to get into the room. Yep. And uh... dashing puts you right in front of the door. As you come across, you see it just ajar, just slightly. Okay. Uh, and you can you still have five feet of movement that you could go into the loft if you wanted to. Okay, so it's like able to open. Yeah, yeah. So it's slightly ajar. As you just press on it, it opens up, and you see Falfer and Erwin start standing on the other side of the door. All right, I'll I'll go in and I'll wait at the entrance just to f- wave people as they come. Okay, are you leaving the secret door open or shut? Um, I'll leave it half open just to get. Okay. Just to be able to see, okay. By the, our party's attention. Okay, okay. all right. Where are um, they? The the guard now, Esmeralda, as you look down, uh, you, yeah, I, I, you can have a brief exchange if you want. I almost responded in Falfers, in like a French accent. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm glad you did not. <laughs> like they're, they're right behind me. Okay. Um, all right, uh, you, Esmeralda, watch as the the one guard looks at his buddy who just got fire bolted, and he turns around and he bolts out the out the front door. Okay. Uh, the other one stands up, weary, um, picks up his his crossbow, and also leaves. <laughs> Not getting paid enough for this. Uh, All right, let's get let's get up, let's go let's move. Uh, Falfer, you're up. Okay. So yeah, I'm. Oh, going sorry. To... Actually, at this point, you guys hear that door open on the other end, and you start hearing footsteps come down the the opposite balcony. So where you're standing, Esmeralda, who's still up there? Esmeralda and Sterling and you, the three of you, look across and guards come in the other door and see you. Across from across the chandelier. Across the, the yeah, across the other balcony. From from corner to corner. Noggins is still over there. Noggins disappeared into the room and you haven't seen him since. Uh, so they come in, they see all of you, they take in it in, and then they Let's go, let's go, let's fire. go! Oh wait, I'm in the other room. Uh armor class, Dimitri. <laughs> 20. Um, and armor class Sterling, as uh, small Sterling, same thing. I just climbed up, so my shield probably isn't out. Sure. So I'd say not. 22. Okay, wow. <laughs> just like they hit and they embed, but they do not puncture your armor, either of you. They both rolled over 20, but not enough to. Wow. Well, wow. sorry, one was, uh, one was a 19 and one was a 20. Okay. Um, so, anyways bolts into your armor as you look up and you see them across the way with crossbows uh, crossbows trained on you. Um, Falfer, you're up. Travas, you're on deck. Okay, uh, Dimitri, where are they? Come on, let's go. They're right behind me. Okay, uh, okay, that's, okay, that's them. I will, uh, I'll knock the door open just to see if they're in the room. You know, like, nobody, a, in, the room. nobody in the room. No. Ha! I'll, I'll run and find them. So I run out. Can I make it to the front of the room? As you, uh, as, door? as you make it to the open door to Erwin's okay. room, directly across on the other thing, you see two guards with crossbows trained diagonally towards where they were. Okay, I draw my uh, my crossbows. Okay. Okay. And I'll train it on on the two who are there. Okay, the yeah. guards? Yeah, the guards. Okay. If I see either of them reload, yeah. I'm going to fire. So I'll okay. hold an action. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Uh, Travas, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. Okay. I'm going to uh, retrieve my rope. Okay. Uh, will that count as a full action? Um, if you're going to coil it and put it away, I'm going to say it is. Uh, I'd say it's an action. If you're just going <laughs> to grab it, drag it drag behind it, me, fifty feet of okay. rope. Uh, I think I'm going to. Uh, They're fifty feet ahead of us. <laughs> I get to. I get to put it away. I get. I'm going to grab it, coil it. Um, and, and just say, we've got to go, let's go. And I'm going to run towards this room okay. where Falford just came out of. Okay, with your full movement, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, puts you right in front of the door. You see Falford with his, as you come across, you see Falford standing at the doorway. Whoa. Like basically, yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Come, on, come on, come on, come on. And then that's your full movement. Uh, okay, do I, uh, I suppose I could dash though. Yep, you can absolutely So dash. I will I will dash to get okay. in, into the room. Okay, so you get into the room five feet. You still have five, ten, fifteen across corner to corner in the room if you want. Can I see can I see, The can door I... is currently open enough, the secret door is open enough that you see 
Dimitri. Okay, I will run towards Dimitri. Okay, you make your way out the door, dragging the rope through. The rope still goes in the room no, no, and I, down I the- No, no, I coiled it. I coiled it, coiled it. So I would use my action to coil it. I said, like, grab it and I'm like- Oh, so you can't dash. Then... So you're currently just outside the doorway. Can you dash? Bonus, bonus, action. bonus, action. bonus action dash, yes, yeah. you can, absolutely. Yeah. So you're, you're outside, uh, okay. rope is good, yes, you're all good. good. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, Sterling, you're up, Esmeralda, you're on deck. All right, uh, I've got 40 feet of movement. I can get there in that movement? Yeah, you can get there and inside okay. the room 10 feet. Okay. Um, then I'll, I'll dash to get like through the, the okay. secret door. Okay, you get through the door. Okay. okay. Um, and then Esmeralda, you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. Um, how far is that door for me, the secret door? 30, well, 30 feet to the room. So to, the, to, the, to op- the, the opening of the room, the doorway. Okay, so I'll be right outside there, and then I can see there are guards that are across the way. Well, you you can see them from where you are now. They're directly across to the other balcony from where you are, almost uh, perfect diagonally. You can okay. run along the one that is now to the front of the thing, and then dash into the room if you want to. Uh, I don't know if I want to dash in the room or wait outside to to hold them off until everybody's okay. in. Let- yeah, I think that's call. what I'm going to do. Can I hold an action or hold a, a spell if like there's... You can hold a dash action if you want, or you can hold a spell or you can hold an attack. I'll hold a spell. I'll hold a, I'll hold a spell attack, okay. uh, a, another fire bolt from where if, I am. What's the trigger? Until, uh, any sort of attack our way in our direction from okay. them. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, so you're just outside the door. Back to Dimitri. Dimitri, you're out. You're out on the on the on the loft. Okay, I'll I'll yell out. Is that everyone? Where's Noggins? Don't know where he is. It's still, you, you still don't see Esmeralda. Well, you, actually, if you look out, you see Esmeralda standing right in front of Falfer, just in the doorway, up to the room. Okay. He ran back into his room. Well. You'll have to catch up with us. And I'll I'll turn to um, Irwin. Uh, Irwin. Yep. And I'll say, is this the quickest way out? But of course, it's only the, way, the only way out. Nobody knows about this. Good, good. And I'll uh, I'll say, lead the way. And I'll if he's gonna move, I'll. Yeah. So so he actually. Um, You can see that he's a little torn in the moment, and his turn's right after yours, so I'll just take his turn if you're done his turn. You're, you're yeah. basically gonna follow him. If he, yeah, if he leads us so okay. I'll follow him. Um, he kind of like pauses for a moment, and he says, this way, and he leads you back into his room. Mm. And as he goes back into his room, um, Momento, por favor. No problem, Senor DM. Senor DM. Okay. Um. Kill time for a sec. Oh, <clears throat> I got this. Mm-hmm. So do you think that'll make it? <laughs> <laughs> they will. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't think you were gonna make that jump. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure how you were going to get out of that. J. J. The, basically, the really pit of death at the wanted bottom. wanted you to make it. <laughs> you, you got a few extra uh, dex checks there. If, and, if it wasn't for that rope. Uh, and yet didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that was actually the, the best nat one result that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out pretty well, actually. You losing your rope to someone else's hands. Is, yeah. Okay, so he, he comes back into his room. And um, he looks at you, Dimitri, and he says, I am trusting you. Nobody knows about this. All right. And in a moment, all of a sudden, his body begins to contort and twist, and black feathers start to grow out of his face and his head and his body as he turns into a humanoid, raven-like creature. And he looks around, and he looks towards the doorway and sees you. You all hear this. And he says, follow me. And he, and he takes off and he bursts through what appeared to be a secret doorway in the ceiling of his room, eight feet up. And it like flaps open, he pushes it open and then drops 
a, a rope ladder down, and you see a black kind of feathered hand say, come up. Oh, I'll, I'll go up. <laughs> <laughs> I will climb the rope ladder. Okay, so that is Follow your held again. dash. You make it up. Um, as you make it up into that room, um, you see uh, this 10 foot wide, 30 foot a uh, five foot long attic has a ceiling that slants down toward the west, dropping from a height of uh, eight feet to a height of five feet. Four straw nests cover the floor and a locked iron strong box sits against the north wall. A small square opening in the south wall leads outside uh, and there's two trap doors with iron hinges set in the floor. One of them now open that you've come through and then there's another one just past that. Uh, up here, as he bursts through, as you kind of come up, you see his two kids and his wife also sitting on the nests nearby. Um, and and he looks back down, he, he kind of pokes his head out uh, and, and with his beaked face and he motions you guys forward. Okay, at this point the guards turn towards the doorway where you are Esmeralda and they're gonna loose those bolts. Both of you have held actions, I'll let you go first. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I see them take action, I'm there to cover my teammates, uh, and I say, hey, "You are not." And sharpshooter, yeah. feet, one one shot. I'll take, I'll, yeah, I'll take my one shot, which gives me it's a negative five. I have to take off my attack, okay, but it adds ten points of damage. It does. Okay, cool. Yeah. I know that. Um, so uh, that's what I will do. So um, sharpshooter makes you less accurate. Less accurate, but more powerful. Huh. Well, it's a sharper shot. Uh, yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, <laughs> so that's an 11 to hit. Okay. Um, that is not enough. Okay. As it goes wide above his head and, and embeds into the wall. Okay. I really, warn you! Really uh, Esmeralda, you get your held, your held <laughs> shot. Yeah, that is a uh, 23 to hit. Uh, that With is a firebolt. Hit. For 11 points of fire damage. Okay, this one careens across one balcony to the other, exploding against this one, and he hits the back, and as the smoke settles, he falls on his knees and then falls on his face, motionless. Yes. Um, Effective. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that was your held actions. Um, that one guard, seeing this happen, seeing his buddy just go down, turns and, and heads out that door. <laughs> and I go, that's right, get away from here. <laughs> Fall for your rupture, boss, you're on deck. Okay, so I will, so those two guards are dispatched. Yeah, dis there are no longer guards in the end. Okay, cool. So I will uh, turn towards the others and say, we must go, I believe Dimitri has a way out. And uh, climb cl the ladder. Climb up the ladder, yeah. Okay. And as you come up, you see the same thing. Cool. You see the Murdakovs all hanging out in here. So, cl clarification, are they all feathered with beaks? No. Okay, just so just is. him. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, this, is your, this is your home? I'll say that to, to him. Yeah, and he goes, and he turns back into himself, and he says, this is where I sleep. This is where we sleep. Okay. But no one hears about this, you understand? No, no, of course, of course. Everyone, come see this! <laughs> <laughs> he shakes his head. <laughs> and cuffs you across the back of the no! head. Um, 1d6. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, he, and then he, he turns to you guys and he says, go, go. And he points towards the hole that leads out onto the roof area of the, of the uh, inn. Cool. Because there's a little hole, win basically window, Hmm. Outside. Um, uh, Travas, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. I'll follow, I'll follow up the ladder. Oh, yeah, you go up the ladder. Yeah. You still have an action or movement or dash if you want. Whatever. Okay, well, we're, I'm basically going to follow wherever he goes. Who? Uh, Mar Martika. Well, Erwin told Irwin. you to go through that. Oh, okay. Exit. Um, so I will proceed. I will go through the exit. Okay. So as you come to this little hole, you actually go, whoa, because it leads right down to the ground. Okay. But just to the left, you see that there's the roof enters, and it's basically just like two feet to the left. 
so you could kind of like climb out and then climb across fairly easily and jump onto the slant, uh, one of the slanted parts of the roof. Okay. S- sitting up there are a number of what you know as were ravens. This, this, this look that look the same as the ones that you met by the cottage. Do they? By the hags cottage. Do they seem uh, the hags cottage, angry? Probably. Do they seem like welcoming? Am I no, they're waiting for you. intruding? Okay, and remember they I... helped you at Babel Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Ah, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, this is the way out, I suppose. Yeah, and, and one of them turns and goes, jump. Uh, oh, okay. Then I'll jump. Okay. As you jump, one of them <laughs> takes off and ah! grabs you and <laughs> begins to fly away as a creature. <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful view. <laughs> uh, Sterling, you're up. What oh, that? sorry, Travis. Yeah, so I'll follow him out. Okay. I mean, pretty much by the same narrative. Same thing happens. You look over and, and, and two kind of step up and tell you to jump. Oh my gosh. I but, and back. then he jumps and then he gets caught. So yeah. I just like close my eyes and uh, okay. Just and I, do it! And I go for it. Yeah, as you jump, you feel, you, you start to fall a little bit and your eyes kind of open up and then you feel them grab you by the arms, two of them, and they take off. Oh my strat. I'll hold, I'll hold onto their legs with my hands as oh, well. Yeah. Like they're holding just me with a, their feet? Their arms, no, with their arms. They're holding me with their arms? No, their arms. What are they flying with their arms. Yeah, you're right. The legs. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, hold on to the legs yeah, yeah, just to be sure. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. I'm, I'm questioning a lot about biology, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, Sterling, you're up. Esmeralda, you're on deck. All right. Same. I'll, I'll just go up the ladder and out. Okay. Same Sorry. thing. You jump. Yeah. You turn into Lars Sterling and then jump. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, though, you jump. And one of them goes to grab you by with its feet, and you slip out of its grasp. This is not your day. And you start to tumble downwards, God. and then feel as as it grabs you with your, its other foot, and then it starts to take. Well, it's so small grammar, just so you know. <laughs> it's all that shiny metal skin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? What do you exactly. hold on to? Uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Uh, I'm going to run towards the door. Okay, so you you enter the door. You see the rope ladder hanging down. So I, and I'll you're the climb last up one up there. Still, last if I one still have movement, there. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have lots of movement left. So you get to the ladder, you're able to climb. I'll say you're able to climb the rope ladder and into mm-hmm. the, into the, um, and Erwin looks at you and says, are you the last one? Yes, but our friend Noggins, he's locked himself in the room when everything happens. So please make sure that he's okay. We'll find him. And he starts to pull the ladder up quickly and closes that door. Okay. Uh, at this point, um, you see, as you come up, you see Sterling jump out that little doorway. You're out of movement at this point, I'm going to say. Um, but Erwin kind of is ushering you guys all through that little opening. Demetri, you're up. All right. I'll go to the opening. I will have seen all of this them jump before. Yeah. I'll like close my eyes. You see three of them step up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll like whisper, and then I'll just jump with my arms out fully, as if I would have belly flopped on the ground. Okay. Um, give me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> All of them rolled under an eight. Oh, oh, shoot. All right. This could be terrible given who you are. Uh, 14. Oh, okay. you have a minus two. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got a minus two dexterity. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Yep. Here's what happens. Because like, one of them rolled not be a, adventuring. He shouldn't. One okay. of them rolled a natural twenty on their on their dex deck save. So you jump out, kind of spread eagle, and you feel them kind of grasp at you, and all of them just miss. And you start to free fall, basically like <laughs> belly flop towards the ground. My eyes are still closed. <laughs> yeah, you, you had your eyes closed? Well, just uh, yeah, I was yeah. holding. Yeah, and then... I like it. I like it. So you start to, that starts to happen, and then you start to feel them like clamor. One of them grabs you by kind of the scruff of your breastplate in the back, and you feel yourself jolt. And as you do, your eyes kind of open up, and you let go of your holy symbol, and then you manage to grab two legs, and then the other two come and they start to lift you up. But you fell like some ten feet at least. You're not sure if anybody saw you, but that was close. <laughs> that was close. Esmeralda, you're the last one in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you do the same? 
Uh, yes, I'll try to make my way. I'll, I'll jump. Yeah, and two of them grab you, no problem, and you all fly off into Whew. the distance. Wow. All right. Raven Air. As, uh, Thank you for flying Raven Air. <laughs> Please enjoy your flight. <laughs> yes! Exits are, well, everywhere. <laughs> here, 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 here. In case here, of an here, emergency. Here. <laughs> as you all... Um, your halfling may be used as a, as a flotation device. <laughs> <laughs> as you all kind yes. of coast, um, that. your heart starts uh, you know starts to kind of calm down the adrenaline starts to come down you start to actually enjoy kind of the cool breeze as you're flying some like you imagine you're like 20 feet 20 feet 30 feet 40 feet you know and they're basically pulling you across um until they come into a kind of a, a copse of a copse a copse of trees mm. um just north of where the inn is as they Float down, and they kind of as as they you, you kind of stop into a run, and they let you go. Mm-hmm. And as as you do that, they they take off. I didn't get your name. <laughs> no response. Oh. As you yell, when the guards are looking for it. What do you all do? You're now standing just north of uh, the inn, in kind of an open area. You can see in the distance the wall of Velaki. You hear some shouting in the distance, in the town square area. Uh, as the others come around, uh, I'll be like, and that is why I love adventuring. Have you ever had anything like that ever happen to you before? No, that was a first for me. <laughs> so, How long does that last? I would though? say fairly common occurrence on my behalf. Oh, wow. Well, I thought it was amazing. If I could have, have wings and a beak and some feathers, who knows, maybe I could live another life. Perhaps in Wild Mount. (laughs) (laughs) I hear Wild Mount's a very clean place on the bench. Wild Mount, you say? Never heard of it. (laughs) I've always wanted to go back. (laughs) All right, all right, all right. (laughs) Let's let's pull it back. Let's pull it back in your phone. Okay. So where 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 are we? Do we know? Yes, we're just north of the inn, in no. the copse of trees, I mean, beside the, the wall to Valaki. I guess that's true. We could see everything <laughs> on the way here. Um, <laughs> could we see everything given the mists? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you you they pulled you up and you basically like crossed a couple of rows of of houses and and over one of the side streets and then just north and then they came back into kind of a little area of trees. Okay. That exists. Well, Do we, we get definitely our horses? need to find. Yeah, either that, we need to find a place to lay low for the time being, because if whoever those guards, whoever tipped them off, they know that we're here, they're looking for us. Yes, of course. Hmm. Um, based on where we are and our knowledge of this area, would we know um, how close we would be to like the main road where they dropped us off? Um... It's it's maybe some. I don't. There's a lot of crows happening right now. I'm trying to do with the crows. <laughs> One minute. There we go. Bye, crows. Okay. Um, you're looking at about 250 feet south of where you are. So not much. 250, 300 feet hmm. is is where the inn is. Oh, okay. So, so you basically can... across a couple houses, a a, 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 a house. A street, a house, into some grass, into a copse of trees. And they, okay, so they dropped. We didn't go on a long journey. No, 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 no. It was okay. Cool. Hmm. So, what are we trying to accomplish at this point? Mm-hmm. Like we we mm-hmm. had the journal for Victor and he or his journal, and then uh, what's her head ran off with it. Yeah, and what's her name again? Uh, Muriel. 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 But we we trust Muriel. I yes. Think she would have. She'll do the right yeah, thing. Of course. So what's next for us? Um, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> uh, okay. So this lasts for up to a minute. It's a concentration spell. 
Um, yeah. so miniaturization. I'm guessing, I'm, All of a sudden, pff, yeah. And you just be happy it happened now instead of while you're flying. Yes, I'm, I'm very happy. Carried by the <laughs> of that, of that very, I'm very grateful. Of, of that, I just. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm tickled. So, uh, yes, um, I think we should perhaps seek the sword. That is what I was thinking we should do next, anyway. Ah, the sword, yes. Yeah, we shouldn't waste any time. Mm hmm. Can we get there? Undetected. Do you think they would be prowling the streets looking for us? I mean, presumably they still think we're at the inn. Right, but if now there's a distraction there that we caused, mm -hmm. perhaps Very this true. would be a good a good time to head off into the night. Do we right. get the horses or leave them? We're not far. We could get the horses and 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 uh, they are distracted, so we could now do it. You you do recall the missing? There's still a missing piece about the Voxers in general. Like you, you got information regarding her, but but he was still Erwin was still looking for information, like proof that she is a follower of Strahd and had a negative intent when taking over. That it wasn't a lawful mm. overtaking mm. of government. And, and we have that bit about the people entering into the back of the... Yes, that's cellar. right. That's right. So do we believe we know exactly what she was... Uh... Remember, you guys scoped out Vokter House and all that yep. stuff. Like, yeah. yeah. That, or we that, that was your next logical... It's been a yeah. couple of weeks, so I'll remind you. Yeah. That was kind of the yeah. next logical destination was to go there and try and figure out what might be going on. After, after the Burger Master Mansion, but a lot has happened since then, so it's up to you. Mm -hmm. The gods are very distracted. We could probably do what we need to do. That's true. We could probably go to the, the Vokter house and and uh, try to get some real evidence that she's c cajoling uh, Strahd, or he, he, her. I forget. What does the word cajole mean exactly? <laughs> it's not my first language. <laughs> Control <laughs> is like is like yeah. trying to 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 get somebody to do something. Yes. Okay. So that's so exactly no. what the opposite of what I meant. <laughs> if there was mention that there were visitors at night. Yes. That came. So if they are distracted, then we can make our way over. Perhaps we can see who those people are. Do we know? Sorry. Go like ahead. a stakeout. What you hear thunder. Is it thunder or rain? Yeah, you definitely hear thunder. <laughs> Do we need to get uh, coverage or covered or under a porch somewhere? I don't know if that was weather or that was like ominous foreboding. <laughs> it's weather. Mm -hmm. Weather. You hear it starting to thunder in the distance. Hmm. Well, if where we go next is indoors, that would probably be best as well. Yes, True. I've never stood outside in a thunderstorm, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's probably not a good idea for you, no. This whole time you've, of them. <laughs> you've been out in thunderstorms. Oh, you should get you some, like, I've never been. rubber no. soles. Not yet. Not yet. But thanks for the idea. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Uh, Don't roll natural outside. All right, so I guess that's potentially our plan then. Travas, what do you think of that? That's right. I don't know. I'm not really the leader. Uh, okay, good. So right. we'll go to... Uh, <laughs> the Hopner House, was it? Yes, the... The Hopner House. Yes. But didn't we go there and we climbed in the windows? That was the burgomaster. Yes. It was the burgomaster. This was the burgomaster. Oh. This is uh, Lady Wagner. My memory is not very clear. Remember that Muriel went to yes, the Wagner house the to check it out? And she was not going to sleep there. So. And she told you about the people entering the back at yes. night. At into night. the basement? During, yeah, into the basement. And then not coming out. Some came out the, that night. Some did not. I did get stuffed one. into a backpack halfway through that adventure. <laughs> That's true. So, that is true. Same here. Uh, okay. Who's up for a stakeout? Let's do it. Perhaps Sounds our, good. perhaps our raven friends can bring us exactly where we need to go this time again. Uh, uh, when I look in the sky, do I see any? No. They're gone. Mm. No. Okay. It's a lift. You would take a lift. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, um, I have a lift. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Wait. Who? You. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just making sure. Or whoever's trying to, to discern the direction of the Vokter house. Yes, I will. Oh, I'm that. sorry, it was a survival? Oh, that's yeah. a terrible roll with a six. 
Uh, you don't know where you are. Where it is. Okay. I rolled a 15. And then one, yeah. no you know that the Vogter house is almost directly east of where you are now. Across a couple homes, across a little road, the north road, and then on the other side of that. Esmeralda does that thing where, like, trust Esmeralda. Yeah. they, li- they, they <laughs> yes. put their finger in their mouth and up into the wind. Yeah. It's that way. Wow. Oh. About a few houses over. It's mm. amazing. It's quite impressive. It's <laughs> incredible. Yes, yeah. she knows what she's doing. Let's okay. go there. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've got, like, an inner, like, uh... Ground spotting potential places GPS I call it. Oh, interesting. Of <laughs> where I like where I should yes. go. It's great. You should p- potentially pursue that as a future of technology. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, yeah. We have our direction. <laughs> Let's right. go. I'm assuming you are moving quietly. Yes. Stealth checks, please. Sure. Oh, no. Only because. Given the guys. cover of the sound of rain. Oh hey, look does at that me. help us at all? Possibly. 23. 26. Nicely done. For the sake of wonder and awe. Are we... That's a 12 with my disadvantage. It's an 8 with my disadvantage. <laughs> and what time of day is clung, it? Clung, yeah, clung. what time of day is it? DM? Night. It's night time. Okay. I but nighttime. I'm just trying to figure out how late at night. Hmm. I am going to cast Pass Without a Trace on all of you. Wow, you can do that? I can do that. You're Spot great. Slot. Boom. Uh, level that, two. That brings me up to a 22. So, plus 10, all of you. 36. 18. Wow. Is this another survival check for something else, or? Stealth. No, it's just stealth. Se- it was a stealth check. Oh, this is stealth. Oh, sorry, I rolled an accidental. No, don't don't look at that one. Let me roll that, because it's me roll stealth. <laughs> 17. <laughs> okay. That's a 33 for me. Okay. Jeez. All right. So you all disappear into kind of the, the town, the outskirts of the town, as you kind of circle around towards the Vokter house. I think we're here. All right. Right, Essie? We're here, I right? So. Okay. Because yeah. I had no clue. I was Close. just guessing. All right. As you approach... This house seems disgusted with itself. A slouching roof hangs heavy over furrowed gables. A moss-covered walls sag and bulge under the weight of the vegetation. As you study the house's sullen countenance, you hear the edifice actually groan. Only then do you realize the extent to which the house hates what it has become. I think we have an image of it. Julian, if you want to bring that up. I know how you feel, house. (laughs) 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 How is he going to do this with this view? It's there. Is that the oh, look That's at that. It. There it oh. is. Look at um, Julian go. New system and everything. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like, look at the windows. Yeah. Just, uh. Those are actually oh, yeah. windows. Oh. Ooh. Light, light oh, glaring in raining. the windows. Oh. Look, yeah, it's actually raining. And oh. the crows. Oh, the crows. Oh, the crows. Go back. Boy, this brings me back to the pumpkin patch of whatever. Death. Stream oh. that was. Okay. Yeah. As you can tell, <laughs> um. Yeah, moving right along. Uh. As you can tell, there are a number of windows uh, to, into the Vokter house. Um, most of them, or majority of them are lit as it's not too late into the night. Um, you can see that there, the front door um, points south as you do kind of a bit of a walk. Um, but that's all you can kind of see is that the front door is in the south side of the building. And the, those windows are all lit? And most of the windows are lit. Okay. Is this the Vokter house? We'll talk about that in a bit. David. Okay, I'm just Jeez. curious. I'm trying to get an idea of scale. You'll see. Perhaps. Would, would you? So standing outside, would you say that it's about this wide? <laughs> <laughs> this is the size, the, the print of the ground floor of the box. Approximately, but this may or may not yes. be. Yes. Okay. And that is the door that faces south. So, if the front of the house has the front door, I suspect the back door is in the back. Oh. That is did, did Muriel say solid anything? logic, Ben Falfer. <laughs> solid logic. I mean, right. <laughs> did Muriel say anything about a storm door, cellar door, that sort of thing that we can enter from the outside? Uh, remind me who Muriel was. She. Uh, oh, you were yes. not there. Right, you. You are not there. Uh, I'm feeling ill or something. Something. Uh, you are doing behind, some they were ritual quite lovely, thing. Lovely, kind. Uh, 
helpful in, in this adventure. Ah. She was quite helpful, yes. Very helpful. And she's, but she's not here now. No. No, no. She no. Uh, gave us the clues we needed for us to uh, to learn that. Uh, what did we learn again? Oh yes, these people who are coming during the night. Uh, they were going in the back, I believe. Correct? Is that right, DM? Yeah. Is yeah. that right, DM? <laughs> Sorry. You re- remember her saying that people were going in through the cellar. The cellar. Hmm. At this, as you do that, uh, like five guards run past the street, past your view of the Vokter house, oh, and oh, continue going. By chance, can I tell if they're going in the direction of the uh, of the inn we were just at? Yes. Okay. Somebody must have phoned them, or <laughs> or warned them. That's what I said. <laughs> right. Should we check? The back? <laughs> yes. Let's check the back. That's where yeah. the back door is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's what I hear. As you circle around to the east side, you notice that there is a typical cellar door with the two doors that open up. Are there? Um, and it's kind of on an angle. You don't. It's not a back door, but this is a cellar door hmm. that's kind of at the base of the building. There's two windows on that side. How? How? On the ground floor. Are they lit? What? Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. What? What do the tracks look like coming in and out of this cellar? Like now that it's starting to rain a bit, are there Survival muddy check. footprints or? Can I do the same check? Oh my strad! It's a six. You don't see anything. I pick up some dirt. Uh, I hate oh. when this happens. Okay, survival. Yep. Uh, seven. I. I felt like I was better. The rain has already washed away any evidence of, from what you can tell. Okay. Of any any sort of traffic coming. From. We won't be able to tell, at least not in this rain. I will look to Esmeralda, being the professional in all things. Can you tell if anybody has come recently? <laughs> As we're like poking at the dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like. Can I? I'm gonna <laughs> wait till I'll, I'll, I'll let me take a look and I'll cast uh, greater invisibility on myself oh. uh, and I'll head over. I want to look through the windows. <sighs> And oh. just inspect Fresh the whole area. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, squish, squish, are... squish, squish, you are... squish. You just see her. Uh, give me a stealth check with uh, advantage, please, with your passive letter traces. What well. is wow. your intelligence score, by the way? <laughs> this has... IRL we have, or we have, no, pass I mean... without a tra- we have pass without a trace. Yes. 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 We, we, we are... <gasps> I wouldn't have cast invisibility on myself. Hold on. But what, what is that? What do I add to that? Ten. Yeah. So twenty-six. Okay. Um, all right, so the two win- there are only two windows on this side. There are no windows on the top floor of this of this at this side of the this face of the house. Um, you look through the windows. Give me a perception check. Okie dokie. My intelligence is a thirteen. By the way, it's okay. plus one. Mm. I was just wondering. Not the brightest candle in the mists. Dirty twenty. Okay. Um, as you. Look in. I can actually. Let's go over here. Okay. So as you look in, uh, you see that there is a light glow. Um, to you know what? I'm gonna do this. Okay. Uh, there is a light glow in the room, uh, and it looks like. And the windows again, they're like you know the 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 kind of the lead lined windows. The the glass is kind of um, rough. And so you can't really see too much inside, but you see a light glow from what appears to be some sort of large hearth, almost like a kitchen kind of area. Um, Across the way, um, you see, basically the window looks over a sink right in front of the window. And then to the left, kind of just out of the direction of where you can see, you can see a one door leading out and one door leading to the right of that window. Can, Can I join her up by the doors? You don't know where she went. She's got footprints. Perception check. Oh, yeah. 26. Passive without a trace doesn't leave tracks. Yeah. Oh, true. She's yes. like almost well, 26. So, do those Four. windows both look into the same room? Yes. The gotcha. other one to the left of there looks into, um, looks over a table. We can get the overcam now, Julian, if you want. And I'll just move it over. But no, no evidence of anybody inside? No, not that you can see. But just that the lights are on. Do I see the hearth? Like, is there a fire going? Yeah, so this, this, there's a dull glow that is cast 
into the room from here. Okay. And that's the only I'll, light uh... in the room. Almost like it's just embers. It's not mm. lit full, just embers. Okay. Uh, so I will head back Okay. then to the group. Okay. And... Which is where, are we like over here? No, you guys were over on that side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, the, the, actually, no, you guys are on that same oh, side because the, the cellar the door is yeah. here. Okay. We were all over here. No, no, we, we went up. You we were, went but you, you guys went around. See, You're all over around. Oh, we're all over here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. She's in the dice cool. tray somewhere. I can I'll give you guys. Yeah. And uh, dropping my invisibility, I'll say to the group, all right, so both of those windows look over into this room that I'm guessing is a kitchen. There's a hearth that's, there's embers. I didn't see anybody inside, but I feel like people are inside somewhere. Should we One make? of the windows, yes, that wind, wait, that, that window over there uh, overlooks a sink. From that window, there's like a table. Um, I didn't see anybody in there. Should we wait to see if the people come tonight? Or should we try to go in before they get here? Well, we could either do a stakeout from outside, wait till they, we see them come in from the cellar, or we try to enter the cellar and ambush from the inside? I don't know. I guess that, is there any other options that anyone can think of? Well, perhaps waiting and get, getting them in smaller numbers would be prudent if we if we wait till they exit, close the doors behind themselves, then we make our move. I can... I, th I feel like that would be better. We'd know how many people were arriving. Yes. That way. How, um, so these are bricks on the outside of the wall here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, brick on the, on the lower kind of side. Okay. And, um board and bat and kind of on the top. Okay, so are, I'm I'm trying to find a position that I might put put my nail in to the wall. Okay. Um so and leave it there. <laughs> and gross as that is. Um find a spot for it to look kind of out from the cellar doors. Should we go in? Yeah. Um mm. probably just above the cellar door, correct? Cuz they're only on an angle. So if yep. you were to find it in between a a, a brick or something in there, okay. you can place it in there so you can see over the door. Okay. Uh, I will leave this. As I rip off, off a nail, and I stick it uh, in, a cre in a crevice. In my what? <laughs> oh, no, in a <laughs> crevice above the, wi the, the cellar doors. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hmm. I, I guess then I we wait around the corner then, if you're able to Keep an eye here. I will. Uh, I think we should all go in, and if we need to see someone coming, I can. Uh, I can stay inside and and, uh, and cast a trance on myself, and then know if someone's coming, and relay it to you. I mean, we were we were discussing waiting for people to exit, and then. Ah, I heard. Uh, Maybe I misheard uh, ambushing someone once we were inside. Oh. That was an option. Mm. Okay, that's why. But now, I guess all you could see is just us now, standing here. Here's uh, the problem. Here's the problem with if we're if the safer way is to remain outside, catch them either on the way out or the way in. But if we wait on the inside and we're able to eavesdrop on conversation, we'll be able to know what exactly is said and what is going on. Fair point. Mm. Which is really the reason why we are here. We are trying to determine how this lady is involved with Strahd. And we need evidence. Exactly. Yes. yes. So this fingernail that you leave in the wall, mm. are you also able to hear through it? I can, all of my senses, in fact. Oh. That's very useful. Let me just be. confirm that. I don't know if it would be good to be able to smell your own fingernail. Yeah, so I can hear and see. Cannot taste, touch, or otherwise feel. All right. Well, then maybe we wait around the corner, wait for them to exit. Is that what we've come to? Well, <laughs> as right. long as we are 
outside of the view of any guards that may be passing by. But then the Esmeralda said that we should go in and be ready and then we could eavesdrop. I just said that that would be, that's an advantage. Yes, I agree with that. All right, so we go inside. Yes. And there, from there we spy on them. Yes. It, hmm. it gives us more of a chance to potentially hear the conversations we need to hear. To make that this... being said, we don't have to attack anybody. We could, if we're successfully go in and eavesdrop and sneak back out. Yes. That's also an option. That's true. Yes. So, it's Dimitri, true. you need to control yourself. If someone attacks, you do not need to attack back. Right. Well, maybe I should stay out here then. If Do we not need physical evidence, though? Uh, physical evidence, yes. Right, they're not going to take our word for it. That's well, we, we might find something while we're inside. Hmm. If, if we overhear I'm just them. saying, if, if we are sneaky enough, we don't have to attack if we if it's not necessary and right now i mean we are pretty stealthy i mean we could hide for at least the next how long has it been since i cast cast without a trace pass without a trace i'd say about five minutes okay so we have about an hour left uh 55 minutes left to uh to sneak about in relative protection mm. all right so we're going in all right yes i'd say yes uh i'm going to lay right, let's kind of against the doors and listen through them to see if I can hear anybody through the doors. Okay, perception check. Woo! 19. Okay. Um, nothing. Okay. Is the is there a lock on it? Uh, it doesn't appear to be locked, actually. That's never a very good... <laughs> wait, wait. Before opening it, I... And I give Esmeralda, like, a quick glance. I know about opening doors without checking first. Mm. Um, let's just double check on this, that there's no measures of course. that have been taken. I'm going to check the door. Investigation. Oh, so what was your last score? 19. 19? Okay. I'd say with that 19, uh, oh sorry, I said perception yeah. last time, right? Investigation, please. 11? Okay. With 11, you look around and there's slanted wooden cellar doors with an iron pull ring. Uh, on each one, uh, and iron hinges, um, and they just stand slanted against the foundation of the house. Uh, as you look around, doesn't seem to be trapped. You're pretty confident. Mm. <laughs> Great. Um, we trust you, Travis. Would you like? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Would you like me to be the one to open it? No, uh, no, no. I'm confident in my work. I guess very confident. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, quietly, slowly begin to open the door. Stealth check. Plus ten. Oh, that's a natural one plus ten plus ten. Okay, natural one. But a dirty ten. twenty-one. But a dirty, a dirty twenty-one. <laughs> natural one. That's crazy. Right. Do what you will with that. Um, <laughs> what do you do with that? It's still, it's still a natural, natural one. one. No, that's true, yeah. I guess. Uh, and so you got this. You're like, you're so confident. You place your hand around, and you guys are like amazed by the quiet mm. that this door opens. There's no creak, oh, there's no on. anything. And as you open it, you have it fully open, and you look down and you see that there's wooden steps, uh, sorry, uh, stone steps that lead down to a landing with like a wooden railing. And you can see that there's stone and kind of dirt. Yeah. Further down, and then the stairs kind of dog left. Yeah, and then just let um, go of the door. And then it's it's like yeah, he just lets go. Drop it open. <laughs> and what it kind of echoes doing? across the street. Um, and My that is where we're gonna take <laughs> a break oh, for this oh. evening. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Guys, we've great. been adventuring for many seasons. And, yeah. uh, oh my god! Obviously, we haven't gotten any better. <laughs> yeah. Well, who gets a dirty twenty and a natural one at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh man. Huh. All right. <laughs> I.
Welcome to Dwarven Forge. This is everything you need to know about our terrain in 60 seconds. Ready? Let's go. We hand sculpt our pieces for maximum detail and artistry, infusing passion into every millimeter of our work. Everything is available beautifully hand painted so you can start playing right away or you can choose unpainted to paint everything yourself. Our pieces are completely modular, so you can use the same sets to create a new adventure every time. Most pieces have embedded anchor magnets that affix to our terrain trays for secure building and for revealing rooms as your players discover them. We create everything out of Dwarvenite, our top secret PVC formula that's nearly indestructible. We pack our pieces with as many features as possible, such as swappable LEDs to quickly change the look of your scene. We offer magnetic accessories to add flavor or increase the danger. A one-inch tactical grid is sculpted into our floors, hidden in dungeon flagstones, natural rocks, or sticks and plants. In addition to sculpted pieces, we make terrain trays to use as a vibrant graphic base for your build. We offer a range of environments, including dungeons, caverns, cities, castles, sewers, forests, mountains, streets, burrows, ice, and hellscape. And that's just the beginning. We have a passionate fan base who can tell you all about it. And that's everything you need to know about Dwarven Forge in 60 seconds. The games we play are the stories we create. The fortress doors swing open. Every story is unique. And the sound of war drums rises. Sometimes our stories come to us when we least expect them. We need to be ready no matter where inspiration strikes. And sometimes our stories are told over great distances. No matter where your journey leads you, or how your story is told. The games we play are the stories we create. Sirenscape can help make yours epic. Sirenscape is searchable, fast, and customizable from any device with no need to pre-install any sound. Adding epic atmosphere to your game has never been easier.
Okay. Oh, hey, we're back. All right. Just like uh, that. Good stuff. All right. Uh, you guys are at the cellar door. You just opened it up, and it slammed across against kind of the the back, and you kind of ah, sorry. Um, after the ringing of the door subsides, yep. do we hear any any commotion from the house? Yeah. Give me a perception check. It's an eight. You don't hear anything. Okay. All right. I guess I uh, will go first. <laughs> no. Did you say no? We don't know if if they might have heard that. Almost for sure they heard it. <laughs> but. Uh, I could close the door and we could come back another day, or we could just well, it is go ahead. Oh, I pictured that I no, opened open it, it and open then it. let it go the rest of the way. <laughs> so it's like, like <laughs> <laughs> wide open. So it didn't, okay, oh. so it didn't, it didn't shut back, yeah, close, no. it went no. the other way. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, that's handy to know. So it's open now. Yeah. yeah. Do we all rush in or do we all run away? I'm going to go. I'm going to go in sl- s- silently. It's going to get down the stairs. Sure you Take- are. Stealth check for you, please. I will also stealth my way inside. Oh, good. 27. We still have the password that trace? Yes. 37. Wow. Okay, pass me Travance. Mm, this guy. You can't even find him. There he is, right oh. there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I rolled a 31. Okay. On stealth. All right. So as you start to come down the stairs, you notice that it is a uh, large root cellar with a dirt floor. Hmm. Uh, two ascending flights of stone steps enclosed by wooden railings stand across from one another. So there's one here, and you see another one on the opposite side. Okay. And other trails go from both staircases to the center bare west wall. Four neatly made cots are set in a row against the south wall. And there are barrels and, and stuff, but you can see that there are clear footsteps that come from this staircase and that staircase and lead over to the wall here and just basically disappear to the wall. Okay. Clear traffic. Okay, oh. fresh traffic or like there's so many people that it's just worn Survival out. check. Oh. I'll look at Falfer and say, and I'll look at Sterling too and say, well, I guess we go in. We must go in. Yes. It's a three. Okay. But I'll hop down and kind of follow them over to that wall. Okay. And you want to hop down? Yeah. Five, ten, because there's a railing. Fifteen to right about there. Uh, well, wh- wherever the I'm they lead up to. I- I've got thirty feet of movement, so they yeah. so where do they went, disappear? You went, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30 puts you there. Yeah. Okay. What and they disappear to at this wall here. Okay, I can wait for everybody to come in. I'll follow you. Yeah, I, I stealth down with a 21. Yep. Okay, following. give me uh, Esmeralda. Mm, yes. No, that's not Esmeralda. That is a Dimitri. Yeah. Okay, so you come down on the landing. Um, so, Esmeralda, you kind of, you enter through, um, and as you do, you, uh, you kind of stop on the landing, uh, and that's like 10 feet of movement from the top oh, of the Sorry, stairs. it was 31 with Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Um, what did you roll for your stealth? 37. Okay. Um, Esmeralda, you... No, you're good. <laughs> you stop, you see You see everything that, that Travas does, and then you head down as well? I will, yeah. So that's five... 10, I forgot it's also 10 feet from here, Travas, so you actually would have been right about here with 30 feet. Mm. 10, uh, 15, wait, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, puts you right there. Right and behind And then am Travas. I able to see the footsteps leading yep. to? It's very no? clear that there's foot traffic through this dirt floor that lead to that wall. And with message, I'll say to Travas, perhaps there's like a secret door or something. It's really weird for footsteps to come all the way and then stop right there. I agree. 
There must be a door. I can find it. Okay. Um, I'll go down next. Okay. Uh, survival check. Pass me, Dimitri. Survival? Yeah. Okay. Would have passed without a trace. Uh, oh. Plus 10. Stealth, then? Yeah, stealth. Did I said survival? Yeah. Stealth check, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, this is going to be 15. Okay. Wow. Just, how? So once you get to the ground here, how do you, where do you go from there? Um. So I'll spot uh, Esmeralda and Travas, and I'll... I'll go m- come up behind. You're invisible, right, Esmeralda? Mm. Oh, I'm muted. That lasts for a minute. I don't know if I was able to go see what I saw and then go back. No, it's it's over. Yeah. So I I don't think I would be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll spot them, and uh, would I have also seen the floor yep. footprints? Yep. Yep. It's very clear. Anybody who goes down there will see them. Okay. I'll see the footprints and I'll just follow in behind because I can tell that's where they're going. Okay. Um, but. I, you can move yourself. So you have, so that's, yeah, so you get 10, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's 25. You still have five feet of movement. Okay. Um, then I'll, I'll just, I'll get to here and just to get a fuller view of okay. everything that's over here All on right. this side. Who's next? I'll go in next. Is that okay? Sure. Sterling, do you mind if I go in? Give me a felfer. Go ahead. Okay, so you go down 5, 10, 15, 20. 30 is my full movement. So, I'll, yeah, I'll kind of... You get five more feet after that. I'll uh, I'll pull up behind Dimitri so okay. that I can get better view as well. Okay. And I'll draw my... Stealth check? Oh, yes. Um, um, that is uh, 27. Okay. Um... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back you up just a bit okay. for a sec. Okay. As you hit this landing, mm-hmm. um, you... Oh, sure. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I you wanted to do. You knocked over the drum set. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, as you start to come down the steps, you see Dimitri kind of kind of come down, and you can hear his steps a bit. Um, and not quite as quiet as everyone else, but mm-hmm. it's Dimitri. You're kind of used to it. Mm-hmm. But as he kind of comes around as Merelda, you see the ground around him begin to undulate in a couple areas. I'd like you all to roll initiative. Uh, undulator. Undulator. Undulation. Man. I don't like undulating things. Oh, I'll use this. Um, Too bad than last time, hopefully. And 19 for me. It's okay. a floor mimic. I- Floor mimic's just a giant mouth. <laughs> <laughs> did you say initiative? Is what you said? Yeah, <laughs> it. I, I, I sure it was did. a new feature I sure they had. I heard it, but yeah, that's sure twenty-four for me. Did okay. One sec. Sorry. Floor mimic, mimic is a new feature they had added to the house as a renovation. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. They came in afterwards and thought, "What can we do here?" Oh, yeah. Floor mimic. Oh, I saw this feature on a- house. HG <laughs> HGTV Barovia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. uh, Sterling. <laughs> Uh, my initiative is an eight. Okay. But I'm not in the room yet. It's okay. Dimitri? Okay. Six. Falfer? Twenty-four. Esmeralda? I rolled a nineteen. Travas? Eighteen. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, Falfer, you're up first. So you hit that, you hit that, um, you hit that landing, you start to see it undulate. Yes. Uh, which kind of, I'm going to say that you are allowed to take the rest of your movement and then you're allowed to go again because you now see what's going on. You have battle awareness and you're at the top of the initial okay. order. So I will I will say uh, I'm just going to assume that there's something wrong with the floor and go everyone back on the steps! Can I say that? Yeah, you sure can. <laughs> Number one, back on the steps! The floor, it's 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 moving! Okay, what do you guys do? <laughs> you guys okay, do? so it's you. Uh, I mean, we're in initiative. I no, no, no action, steps, uh, Nope, I'm just going to stay at the, stu- the top of the steps and try to make as much room as I can for, for others to be Esmeralda, Esmeralda, you're up. Travas, you're on deck. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll move up to the steps. Now, um, okay, so you, know, do you want to go all the way up the steps? No, I, I still want. I don't want to be on the moving floor, but I, I want to be able to see. What's okay, so you're kind of standing on the steps. Yeah. Thanks to Wiz Kids, you can actually. No, oh, they actually make little. Little ledges? Little ledges, so Ooh. it works. Aww. Oh, oh, Falfer. Oh, no. He's, he died. There. See, they actually make little yeah, ledges. pretty cool. Calculate the Shout device. out to his kids. Fancy. Wow. So that you can oh, use steps. steps. Yeah, so you can use steps. Oh, my god. Okay, sorry. I, let me just get this right. Uh, so, uh, Falfer, Esmeralda, Travas, Sterling, Dimitri. Enemy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. It's okay. Uh, it's all right. Nice yeah, how they're sending me a new one. Okay. Um, all right, Esmeralda, you were on the steps, just kind of getting ready. Any action there? Um, I don't know what we're dealing with yet, so I'll, I I won't ready an action. Okay. Travas, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. Is the entire ground undulating? Does it seem like it's focused on a certain area? Mm, perception. Uh, 16. Okay. With a 16, you notice a variety, perhaps even a dozen specific areas that are do are kind of rising. The dirt is slightly rising. A dozen is a lot, Jay. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to walk all the way around it and up the stairs. I'd like to jump up, grab the railing, and get over the Athletics. Right. Nine. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that you managed to fairly easily kind of climb up, um, but even with your feet, it's still half movement because of your roll. Okay. So you've, you're up to the steps, which is 5, 10, so you have 15 feet of movement. Okay. Standing basically beside Travas, uh, uh, Falfer on the, on yeah. the landing. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to ready in action. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw my my bow. Okay. Um, and upon seeing uh, uh, what what, what appears to not be a friendly something coming out of the ground. Yeah. I'd like to fire upon it. Okay. So you're gonna hold an action to fire when you see something that's not nice. Yeah. Which everyone's close. If there's multiples, which yeah. everyone's closest. Yeah. Sterling, you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. Okay. So I see everybody coming back up. What are you doing? Why are you coming back up? <laughs> yeah, so you're you're outside still. <laughs> Welcome back up. No, of course not. Did you take the fuse? No. Which remote? Keep going. Keep going. About, I think you just yeah. used it. Keep you? going. There it is. So I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, ready in action as well with the Vishnod crossbow, uh, pointing down in there just in case I see a bad guy. I can. Okay. I can shoot. I okay. see the bad guy can yeah, shoot it. Shoot it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for sure. You know, you want to shoot right. it. All right. So you're basically looking out over the landing, straight kind of down. Yeah, kind okay. of like aiming between everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay, Dimitri, you're up. Don't roll a one. Okay, I will. <laughs> We're all crowded on the stairs, and Dimitri's like, you guys suck. Is, <laughs> I will try to get over, and is there room for me? Steps. No, not for you, Captain Noisy. <laughs> there isn't a lot of room. You move five feet now. I'm gonna say you can pass through them, but you can't rest. So you can maybe pass through and then go above Travas, between Travas and Sterling. But they're pretty narrow. Okay, I I won't go past them. I'll stand guard at the bottom of the steps. Okay. And I'll hold an action to swing at whatever undulates towards me. <laughs> okay, I like it. All right. Whether it's Falfer or <laughs> yeah, anything. Even if I'm, if I'm undulating, just a quick swipe. Hostile, <laughs> hostile, um, non-consensual no. undulation. <laughs> yes, exactly. Only hostile undulation. <laughs> right. The hostilation, so to speak. Okay, Undulation. as you all watch, um, you notice 
at all those minis. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's he There's reaching? There's a handful like, in there. You notice. Like, I like two, minis. Three, I said I don't like minis. I said, it, I said a dozen. Um, it's true, you did. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. I did say that. You did say yeah. a dozen. You six heads, six tails. Yeah. Um, you watch <laughs> as a hand bursts up through the dirt. Uh, and then another one, and a creature sits up. No, I, I don't watch. I turn my head the other way. <laughs> Out no! that way. No, Eleven no. more <laughs> do this what? in the ground around the cellar. That's terrible. Oh, what have we done? This is one, two, terrible. Three, four, five. Oh, man. You have this many minis. Flashbacks of a certain icy cavern. Nine. <laughs> Didn't these guys kill Roscoe's family? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think these No, it wasn't Roscoe. Yeah, I said 12, right? You, 11 I more. Think of course, I think the encounter I'm thinking, I'm thinking of. 8, 10, 11. 10, 11. There's a couple too many here. The encounter I'm thinking of ends ah! with a <laughs> polymorphing. And there he goes. A Ramoraz into a kitten, then throwing it off of an airship and shooting it in air. He's, he's oh, there. Yes, you killed a kitten. Oh. No, it was a Ramoraz. <laughs> but it was a kitten, too. We just made it look like a kitten to make it more horrible. Uh, yeah, horrible. To make, well, more to make it We less may dangerous. not. We may oh, not make it to the secret door today. Okay. Yeah. All right. So all of these creatures burst out of the ground and converge. Luckily, they were prone, so they only move a certain direction, a certain amount. Laying so down on the job. There's going to be one, okay. two, I, uh, five, oh. 10, 15. Yeah, so they start to, so as they come up, actually, um, who has held actions? I have one. I have one. Okay. I also have one. Okay. Uh, I will allow you guys in initiative order to use them. Travas first. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. And tell me which one you're shooting at. Uh, I will shoot at this this dude here. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be a uh, thirteen to hit. Okay. That is a hit. Is he within uh, five feet of one of my friendlies? Which one are you shooting at? This guy. Yeah. So he'd be within five feet. Yeah. He's so I get sneak feet. attack. Me too. Yeah. So that's a six plus. Uh, no, I don't know what to use. Six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> 13, 15. Right. 15 points of damage? Yeah. Pew. Okay. Number dead. Number dead. Number dead. Okay. Um, and that is. Just regular damage. Right? Okay, so the creature, um, you let your arrow fly. How many arrows? There's one, right? There's one. Yeah, and it goes right through kind of its chest, and it reels back like this. As it opens its mouth, its jaw kind of unhinges yeah. and hangs. And um, go, yeah. you go back at it? Okay, like it. All right. Uh, next is Sterling then Dimitri with your held actions. All right. You ready to actions? Whoa! Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh, what? double what twenties! Double twenties! Double, 20s. double, double 20s. nat twenties! Look. That is okay. Whoa. It just well. It. I mean, this is making up for all the bad rolls that I had. That's true. Yeah. You yeah. have been rolling terribly, but this is amazing. Ooh. Yes, it is amazing. Okay, so You're, that's okay. So that hold on. Full damage. I'm so flustered. Wow. I know. I'm so I flustered right now. Deal with this. Okay. That's so like that's natural damage. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> What? So you say 19 plus five? So 19 plus 19 plus oh my gosh. Huh. Yeah. five 42. plus one. 44. 44 points of damage. Ooh. That was better oh. than mine. That's better than mine. <laughs> okay. I suspect it'll to be whichever one I have line of sight on. Okay. Huh? Right, because he's out Because he's up door. here he's up looking that way. Yeah. So I'm firing between y'all. Okay, so how many so how many points? 44. No. Right. You said 44? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And which one are you firing firing at? 
With, uh, whichever I have line of sight on. So yeah, these two probably the would be the most. Okay. Um, so if one that guy's got great hair. Yeah. It, well, mm. yeah, great hair. See that guy? Yeah. That's really <laughs> nice. It's like full on eighties. Yeah. He's <laughs> he's in a band. Yeah. Um, and as you as the the arrow basically severs its its spinal cord and its head yeah. topples off and it like stumbles a couple more steps and falls dead. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Wow. Well done. done. All you gotta do is forty-four damage. Okay. Note. <laughs> Note <to self. laughs> right. Got some name for it now. D double nat twenties is all you gotta do. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dimitri, you get your held attack. Are you ready to attack? Yes. Which one uh, got close? Well, the, none of them have moved yet. Okay. Because mine's a melee attack. But this one's close. This one came up right beside you. Okay. I will swing with the sword. I'm It's a 28 hit. 28. Nice. Yes, absolutely. All right. And I'll do. Um, that is. is an, uh, that's 15 slashing. Okay. And it goes down as well as you slash it, like basically like collarbone to waist and. Which guy? Nate, to hip. It was this one. Oh. The okay. one that you already attacked. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it goes down. It hits 50. All right. Fell one. Okay. Fall. Now they converge. Okay. Oh, bro. First they were undulating, now they're converging. Ah! Huh? ah no, Travon! Every <laughs> single time. And this one begins to climb. These two begin to climb the, the stairs. Okay, so Dimitri. Yes. You are first. Um, uh, what's your armor class again, bud? 20. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, man. Un ah, there's one. <laughs> um, Two of them converge on you and start like pawing at you basically and trying to get, and they're like biting at your armor and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but then one, you feel it grip right into kind of where your elbow or your, the inside of your elbow is kind of exposed between your armor. Um, and you take three points Ooh. of piercing damage. <laughs> Hope you got a backup ready. Um, we laugh now, but we'll be almost dead soon. We really will be. As Merelda, uh, one kind of reaches through the uh, railing at you. Uh, what's your armor class again? Uh, it's 18. Okay. Um, so you only get one that, uh, the one that reaches through, you feel its claws kind of dig into your, into your leg. Um, that is six points of piercing damage. I'm going to reaction cast uh, shield. Okay. Which will make my AC 23. Okay, that's enough. Wait. Am I. Um, so I'm going to. Yeah. Go ahead. Am I uh, next to the one that's attacking? Or one of the ones that's attacking? Yes, you are adjacent to the one that's attacking. Because Sentinel Feet, I can opportunity attack one. Okay, that's let's do that. Um, so you don't take any damage on that, Nora, then, right? Okay. Um, yeah. And as you do that. The shield, the energy from the shield kind of chops its arm off at its forearm. And it kind of falls to the ground. Oh. Nice. It falls Go ahead. to the ground. Um, is it like prone? No. No, the, the arm falls to the ground. Oh, the arm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I rolled a natural one. Okay. For this opportunity attack. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to let that one go because it was an opportunity attack. Wow. That's close. Because that death close. is imminent. Uh, uh, can, can, can I ask a question about it? Sure. the initiative order? Yeah. Because we all just used our held actions, and aren't they at the bottom of the initiative order? Because we only used our held actions, so shouldn't we back oh, to the top? Oh, you're so right. Yeah, none of you have taken damage yet? I took three. Okay. You should have. Hold on to that three, we'll see what happens, but you're right. You're absolutely right. We should be at the top of the order. Balfour. Well played. On top Thank of the you. order to you, sir. Top of the, <laughs> top of the order. <laughs> um, Usually so, I get yelled at. So I'm going to pull <laughs> I'm gonna pull out uh, my two hand crossbows and uh, 
from the top of the steps okay. down to the ones whose craniums are closer to me. Okay. And you can shoot with both. We've done this a bunch of times. We've tried to figure out if you can or if you can't. I can. My second attack doesn't have a proficiency bonus on it. Okay. And you're aiming for the one who looks like it might land a hit on Demetri. Yes, that's <laughs> okay, the one so I'm aiming which for. Which two are you aiming at? I'm in, so I'm going to aim at, I believe it's this one. Yeah. Um, and this so one. So that one is within five feet of you, which means it would be a disadvantage because it's short distance. No, I don't have this disadvantage on sharpshooter because I'm sharpshooter. So disadvantage doesn't apply to me. That inc that's included? I okay. can show you. Because I know let there's, there's two. Check. It could be. Attack at long range doesn't impose disadvantage on your. Yeah, it doesn't say attack at short range doesn't. At long range. So uh, at, at over over the, the mid thing, it yes. doesn't until the, the uh, high range, which is awesome. Yeah. But the low range still has disadvantage. Okay. So I will Within then, instead, I will attack with the crossbow to the, the further guy. Here? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these two guys, okay. basically. Yep. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Um, the first one is uh, 15 to hit. To hit. And the second one is also 15 to hit. Okay, those are both hits. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> all told, <laughs> three damage on my first one. Oh, and I don't get the bonus on that one, so that's only six on the second one. Okay, six, okay. On the front, right on. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Travas, you're on deck. Uh, I want to angle myself in such a way where when I cast this lightning bolt, I can hit as many of them in one straight line. Hmm. Okay. So first of all, they were all kind of not here. So I'm just going to okay. kind I'll of move them, back. move them back. Oh. Yeah. If they're that far back, actually. And let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Ooh, that's a straight line. I don't know where this is going. I'm yeah. going to cast Fireball yes. Yes. to where it does not hit us. It's far back enough. OK. Well done. We're on the stairs, so we're good. I mean, we're all on the stairs, good. so I'm going to cast a Fireball in here, and they're all going to have to make a deck save. OK, what's the what's the radius again on Fireball? I should have this by heart. But... 20 feet. OK, where's my spell no, 20? Cross. That's almost to the other side of the If way. she hits this wall, then so it's, it's like yeah. it's like <laughs> way out of here. Yeah. Twenty foot radius? Yeah. Uh -huh. So forty foot Four, diameter. Oh, oh, forty okay. Look, foot radius. Six of them. Yeah. yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. If it goes off four, here, five. it'll go twenty mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't they have a twenty foot Isn't this fireball? Oh my that's, gosh. Uh, that's uh it looks like a twenty, yeah, foot, that's 20. Radius. 20 foot radius. Would that be forty? Yeah. Well, you, we, if we can look here. Count here. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, a twenty foot radius, so it should be forty 20, across. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 40. Yep. That's yeah. fire. Boom. So quiz kids. She, yes. She wants to aim it there. Yes. There. Oh. So one, yes. two, three, yeah. four, five, six of them. What if you did it here? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> sure. the, the... One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven of them. Travas may lose For his maximum. eyebrows, and those, <laughs> but he's safe. No one can sleep in those beds anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, look at that. Fancy. Take stuff. Do it. This might be the most. Oh. We've attacked it once. Yeah, it could be the most one single person's attacked in a single attack. Wow. Come on, let's do it. So they have to save for. And they still take half damage if they fail. Yeah. Oh, which is sweet. Love this. So sorry. Am I? I'm doing uh, what saving throw? Dex. Dex oh. save. Well, I guess I'm not going to loot those beds later. So this is seven deck saves. <laughs> They're all made out of hay. <laughs> Minus two. Oh, God. <sighs> Nothing but diamonds left. Negative one. <laughs> Fail. What's the DC? 14. Fail. Fail. That's three. Pass. Pass. Fail. Fail. Five fails, Ooh. two passes. Yeah, five so fails, two passes. All right, so here is the, I'm gonna roll all the damage. I heard them so all. So it's 25 for those who took full fire damage. 25? And then half, yeah, 25 oh, is the full gosh. damage. <laughs> That's so much damage across all of them. Holy crap. And then those who saved, the two that saved take half. So 12, well, 13. 150 in total. 
150 total damage. It's probably stinks down here now. Uh, <laughs> just barbecue. Well, two yeah. of them. Ooh. Yeah, so the two that passed. Sorry, the two yeah. that passed take how many? Half. So 13. Half. Yeah, thir 13. My goodness. Sorry, this is a lot. Yeah. It's just a lot to take in right now. It's okay. <laughs> Handles. So much for being zombies. stealthy, all. I painted these all week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're still passing without a trace, right? I still got a 37. Yeah. It's uh, your concentration. We're like, we don't have to do violence. Cut to after oh, the yeah. break. There was yeah. violence. <laughs> yeah, thanks for convincing us, Esmeralda. There was violence. <laughs> so the fireball ignites, and the room just kind of shudders under the under the, uh, the 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 impact <laughs> um, and a lot of them are on fire and moving a lot of them are still standing but you've blasted pieces off multiple ones one of them falls over in a smoldering mess dead you took that guy out already Jay? yes I did. okay okay, just... okay. nicely done Travas you're up sterling you're on deck wow. yeah I'm just blown away by that yeah <clears throat> but the heat was a little close to me so I'm gonna back up up the stairs a little bit yeah. and fire another arrow. Okay, and oh, and you do notice that the ceiling is smoldering. <laughs> the house will <laughs> be Whoops. happy. We can't burn this one, we don't own it. <laughs> the house is I even... a, so I back up the stairs. Oh, I am a putz. No. That is the wrong stairs. It was supposed to be these stairs you're supposed to come down. Well, uh, can't change everything. Uh, this could have been under. It's fine, we'll just leave this as is, but it was supposed to be these ones. Okay, yeah. it's fine. There's just a portal halfway through. Yeah, okay, sorry. Switch. Go on, sorry, what was that? So I move up up the stairs, okay. outside a little bit, Okay. Uh, and then I'll fire back in uh, down towards uh, the blue guy. No, this guy. Okay. So I can move up to like, oh. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Are oh, you move up to up, about here yeah. and shoot that guy? Okay. Shooty okay. pew pews. Can you do it? Let the uh, it's a I in you. Uh, twenty-four to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. It's gonna be uh, six, ten. You're firing at 11, one of the guys in the radius. Seventeen. He's dead. Oh. He's dead. Very dead. Yeah. Okay. Which one? So this one? one? This guy. No, that baldy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that he wasn't in it, but that doesn't matter. He would have been dead anyways. Yeah. He a lot of damage. Dead. Um, he would have been dead anyways. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Uh, Sterling, you're up. Dimitri, you're on deck. All right. Sprinklers. I come down the stairs. Sprinklers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to come down to the floor. Okay. Okay. Where, though? Uh, yeah. So you, you go. So, like. 5, 10, 15, and then 20. And climb, climb down the side. 30. <laughs> That's half movement. Oh, like, uh, I'll put you okay. here. Go down here. I'll put right. you here at full movement. So I back up, Sorry. and you right. pass me going in. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so I'm not close enough to any of them there. No. Huh? To do my thing. Let's see. Oh. Five, ten. 15, I have 40, 20, 40 feet of movement. You could 25, 30. If you walk down the stairs, yeah. you'd get there faster. All right, I'll walk down the stairs. Weird, but go. And I'm within <laughs> range with my 40 feet. I'm within range. Yeah. So you can get here two of them? and still be in range of two of them. He's just walking okay. down. Then yeah, uh, that's a, a 23 and an 18 to hit. Those are hits. Um, for the first attack, it's 16 points of damage. Jeez. And you just cleave him in half and he falls over in two oh. pieces. And the second attack is 14 points of damage. And that one also, the smoldering mass just whoosh, and he like sprays across the back. Yeah. As you're just, as you hack through, oh. there's like uh, cinders just like Ash flying everywhere. And, and, and I'll laugh like the Iron Giant. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll laugh like uh, this. <laughs> oh, that was great! Dimitri, you're up. Okay. Um, I will turn to the one that's right next to me. Yep. And I will swing at him. Mm -hmm. um, it's dirty 20 to hit. That's a hit. And we roll ones and jingles. That's one. I guess that that one has 14. not been touched. This is 14 damage. Damage. Okay, you cleave off basically like his leg at his knee, and he's kind of left hopping. I will swing again. And it's a 29 to hit. That's a hit. Jeez, you guys. All right, it's uh, 18. Slashing, <laughs> and you basically like he's hopping, and then you just come across and you <laughs> across his stomach, and, just, uh, <laughs> and his top right. hops off. I'll 
I'll Bob. turn and face this one standing between it and the stairs. Okay. Just Monty Python. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come I've, back here. I forgot to say, so I don't know if you want me to reduce damage or something like that, but I was, I intended to go Big Sterling down there. Um, so mm -hmm. I included the, the damage from Big Sterling on that. Sure, we'll just yeah. put Big Sterling in here. Yeah! yeah. Just pull him out of there. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, that guy. So, so it really is Iron Giant laughter. Oh my god. <laughs> It's <laughs> awesome. awesome. Okay, that's Dimitri. Oh, you're attacking. Uh, you attacked him twice, right? Yeah. Okay. Then this one will attack you. We'll take uh, those three points. I'll roll it again. I always imagine his head like, like just, just scraping the top of the, <laughs> the roof. It's a tw like. Natural twenty. So for a twenty-three <laughs> on the last one. Mm. And so that's going to be six, twelve. Ooh, 14 points of slashing damage. Is this instead of the three? Yes, instead of the three. Okay. Because the three sounds better. Because <laughs> <laughs> the three. Because yeah, saying the three. <laughs> kind of you sounds. did say to remember the three. I you did it. say hold on to the three is what you said. Remember the <laughs> three. <laughs> uh, and then these converge on big stool. Oh. Great. Oh. Just these flaming. Little. Barbecue zombies. I, I'm, zombies. I'm two-handed wielding my sword, so it's 22 AC Four. instead of 23. 22? Yeah. Okay. All right, <laughs> three attacks each. Nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. <laughs> yeah. There's only five of them, so we're good. Uh, that is, sorry. So it's only 23, 22, so not 20, 23? 22, not 23, because my shield's on my back, because I'm two-handed. The sword. Mm. Wielding my sorry. magical 22 hits? sword of magicness. Sorry, 22 20, hits? 22 hits. Yes, okay, so he he rolled a 19. So he just hits with the first one. Yes, I so, know. Um, we're gonna do that real quick. That's gonna be uh, four points of piercing damage as he bites into you. Okay. Mm, strong teeth. Okay, mm. so those two miss, I mm. expected that. You know what I mean? Yeah, after all that time too, yeah. you know, you'd think they just kind of fall out. Nope. Another 19. Really gummy bite, strong that was, gummy bite. Uh, claw, as he claws <laughs> across. <laughs> One of your joints, that's, that's um, hit. five points of slashing damage. Okay. Of course. Got them right where I want them. You said tanking. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy. Str no, Strat if it was anybody else. Yeah. We don't. Okay, and then no more. That's all it for right. four zombies. All right. All right. I just imagine the one, its teeth are all shattered like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> and it holds up a little sign that says, ouch. <laughs> All right, um, that is them. It is now uh, Falfer's turn, mm -hmm. and um, you definitely hear running footsteps above on the, in the, on the wood floor <laughs> Okay. Uh, above you. You have to kill uh. the whole family. <sighs> let's, yeah. let's, let's make quick work of these, and uh, I'll now use a single crossbow. Um, and attack just one. Okay. And then I will use my bonus action to reload. Okay. Um, so that's 24 to hit. That's a hit. And you guys are rolling fire. Oh, sorry. Um, and that is. Come on, piercing. With Esmeralda. Oh! Really, yeah. That's, oh, that can't be right. That can't be right. Sorry, let me re roll that because that's a flawed roll. What? Come on! Three points of damage. <laughs> okay. Terrible. On which one? On, yeah. on this guy right here. You're adding your dex to it. Okay. Yeah, that's with my bonus. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda, you're up. Travas, you're on deck. Uh, all right, I'm going to. Th there's just the ones that are surrounding Big Sterling that are left. And one in the back. One here. And yeah. one in the back. I can take uh, a fireball. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll hurl a fire bolt at that one in the back. Okay. Ugh, that's an 11 to hit. That's a hit. Oh. oh sweet. Yeah, they're not okay. hard to hit. All right. Well, that is 15 points of fire damage. <clears throat> yes. Go. That, um, to the one in the back? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, as your firebolt kind of takes off a shoulder and a half of its torso, it still kind of stands and snarls. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> How many are there? One, two, three, five? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
We got Blue Man Group. Yeah. We've got Brett Michaels. We've got... <laughs> you killed Platinum Blonde earlier. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all 90s oh, reference all yeah. day long. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, Travasa, you're up still around deck. She didn't kill this guy? No. He's still, hold, he's he wasn't on. He wasn't part of the... No, he was part of the fireball. I don't think he was part of the yeah, fireball yeah, yeah, gang. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, I'll aim over towards that guy. Uh... And, and I'll fire my bow. Okay. Uh, and that's a 20 to hit. That's a hit. And uh, it's only 1d6, so uh, plus four, seven. Seven He down. goes down. Yes, and I'll go to high five Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you're up further. It's close up to you, because no. No. You know, okay, either I'll way, it's wave. not happening. He just waves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sterling, you're up. Dimitri, on deck. Okay, so I rolled yes, an 11. Yes, I saw, I saw. 11 to hit. That's hit. Okay. Uh, the first one is 10 points of damage. That goes down. Okay. Does it matter which one? Uh, Brett Michaels first. This one? Yeah. All right. Um, no offense, Brett Michaels. I know he watches this show. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those. 13 points of damage on the second, and that's Blue Man Group. Uh, that he died. Also watchers of the show. Yeah. All right. So, well... That's actually them playing there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> His buddies are back here. Uh, okay, uh, that's you. Demetri, you're up. All right. Uh, I can hear Omega groaning all the way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Past. You can go diagonal. So. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to go around to the side. Yeah. Oh, do it. Reach two, and I'll swing at the first one there. It's 23 to hit. That's a hit. And 17 slashing. Wow. Jeez. Oh, that one goes down. You guys are making quick order of these now that Esmeralda softened them up. Yeah. Softened them up. And I'll attack the other one now. That's right. It's 26 to hit. That's a hit. Nice. And 16 slashing. That goes down. And as the final one falls, I'll, I'll whisper. You, you later, alligator. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who is undulate? Undulate. Undulator, alligator. <laughs> All right. We have fun. And the, and the room goes quiet. <laughs> After that joke, indeed. Um, we have Crickets. Crickets. Crickets Sirens here. <laughs> you absolutely still hear um, footsteps above you, creaking on the on the floor, um, hurried kind of footsteps. Okay. Well, they probably heard us. I would say so. Do you want to check the magic door still? <laughs> we must. Uh, yeah. Up. We the must. The hidden door. Out. Sorry. Give me a perception check, Travas. Uh, sure. We're bad at this. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's not great. Or um, extremely good uh, for having to survive this long. That's uh, ten. <laughs> ten. Um, okay. Lucky when it counts. <laughs> That's it. You got a ten. Wow. All there right. I wonder why they would bother to hide the door when the footpath was so clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, while they're discussing that, I'm going to close my eyes and just lay on hands for to get me back at max health. Okay. <laughs> You're doing better already. Good call. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm gonna second wind. Okay. Okay. Um, you, I took no damage, so I feel pretty good. Um, I'm going to come down the stairs and uh, ask Trav Travas. No, Travas is up the top now. Yeah, but I'm gonna come da come back down in as well. Okay. So even... yeah. So we'll come down. Go follow those foot those we... footsteps or that foot pattern towards yeah. that door. Coming down here. You're coming down too, Fouts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, they're, they're okay, moving. So we're gonna move you guys now to say that you are in the okay. On the proper, oh, okay. Yes, uh -huh. makes a lot. Yes. Proper stairs. Sorry. Okay. Where do you guys go? How long does Big Sterling last? One minute. Okay. I say we do this while we still have a chance. Uh, it seems there's a door over there. No. Do you want me to push it? Yes! <laughs> I, I went, I went Kermit the door? I went a little Kermit the Frog there. <laughs> yeah, those, were, those were like Grover. Yeah. Quite <laughs> 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 Uncle. Um, 
<laughs> so <laughs> I'll, I'll go and and heave my full weight into the oh, wall. Nice. Yes. Okay. All right. So you charge the, the, smash. the door. Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Basically, like throw my shoulder in and try to like push in case it's like a push thing. Okay. Oh, so as you go down on his bum and push from behind to try to help. Him. <laughs> mm. Okay. So you they charge it. Here, your so. boss pushes your bum. Um, and <laughs> as you hit it, it opens with relative ease, mm. and it pivots on the center. Uh, so as you hit one corner, oh. it actually pivots Revolving like that. Door. What? So I, I guess I keep going. That's awesome, by the way. That is super cool. Uh, but you're not yeah. big enough to fit through it. So you kind of it, oh, it no. stops, <laughs> and it pivots, and it opens <laughs> just slightly. Yeah, that's awesome. What just happened? <clears throat> I don't know, oh but I'm so afraid right now. I feel like I think I just clicked something with my stomach, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of appropriate. You have a pre-style stomach. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, sorry. That's so weird. Wings okay. are coming, Jay. We're good. <laughs> That's what happens when you're hungry. We're good. I know. Somebody get him a snick. It's hard for me. All right. Okay. So. Not a sponsor. All right. Not a sponsor. Uh, so you you kind of put your shoulder into it, and your head is low enough. It's only a medium-sized door, so you have to be really low uh, into it. Where are the rest of you when this happens? Can you place your minis where you want to be? Yeah. As Merelda, mm -hmm. where would you like to be? Um, I was pretty close to the door. I think heading over there. So wherever. Okay. I mean, everybody's gonna, kind of gonna, crowded yeah. around it. I'm gonna be supportive of Sterling and watching watching him try to get through the door. So just behind him. Okay. But I'm behind. Him. Also, we we can all. There's a radius around. We it's a circle pattern. Fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there's room for oh. all of us. No. 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 no, no Jay. No. We don't have. To. They're not doing that right now. They're not. That's not um, what they do. Um, they've got an extra chair though. <laughs> what? Sh shoot. Okay. Flickering candles and iron holders fill this room with light and shadows. This room has a 10 foot high ceiling and a large black pentagram inscribed on the stone floor. I'm gonna say white uh, instead. Mm. At each point of the pentagram rests a wooden chair. Seated in four of the five chairs are men and women in black robes with hoods. A young man who has the face of an angel, a balding hulk of a man, a squat middle-aged woman, and a taller, younger woman with an unsettling glare. They rise. As as that happens, they rise to confront you. Um, we'll roll initiative once again, please. <sighs> but we're being very non-confrontational. Yeah, we've just... We've, yeah, clearly. We're just checking. Uh, <laughs> Hello. We're going to take a long rest first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we stop for a long rest. I could use a short one. <laughs> 18 for me. Six. Okay, one sec. Sterling. Uh, 22. Dimitri. Six. Falfer. That is a 26. Esmeralda. Oh, 18. Travas. Uh, 12. No, I think I should talk to this round. But... Okay, Falfer, you're up first. Then it's Sterling. Then it's Esmeralda. Then it's Travas. Then it's them. Then it's Dimitri. Oh, Dimitri. What's <laughs> happening up back there? So, do usual. they seem angry? Um, they're not happy as they rise. Um, but give me an insight check. <laughs> uh, well, you're kind of on this side. You're you can't even actually see into the room right now. The only uh, person that can see into the room and is blocking the passage is Big Sterling. Can I see okay. between his legs as I push his bottom? Yeah, I am so small and he is very large right now, so could I not see around him? I'm gonna say, sorry, I'm gonna say that um, you have about half a minute left. As okay. combat ended, I'm assuming when you come out of combat, you guys are kind of talking, you're walking around, I'd say 30 seconds passed in that time, sure. and then you're back at 30 seconds in co in, in, in combat. So he is okay. Big Sterling He's still. still Big Sterling. So, and I'm still Small Falfer. Yes. Which means I should be able to, couldn't, peer, couldn't I peer through? It opens on an axis. You ah. don't have a view into the room. Understood, understood. So I'll get, I'll get closer to the door, it's what I'll do, and try to peer in if I can. Okay, so I'm gonna say that you can, uh, you can- Did these burn to nothing when we- No. Uh, the cots are on fire. Yeah. And so is the ceiling. Oh, um, wow. Great. I said Cot that. Fire. Cool. So that's, I yeah. said the ceiling started to smolder. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. It's the ceiling. It's okay. actually so flames. I'm going to say that you can take up the same space as 
Okay. Sterling, because he's big and you're small, yep. you kind of peek through his legs. Okay. Give me an insight check. Thank you. Uh, yes, insight check is... That's a natural 20 and 24, all told. Wow, natural 20. Yep. Um, they're angry. They're not happy. <laughs> um, they turn, like I said, to kind of face you, mm. and you can tell that they all kind of put their, their hands up like this. Okay. As, as you... As you approach, we ruined mm -hmm. musical chairs now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, <so. laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll I'll go. In, I'll burst in. Uh, I'll just peer. I guess peer in and go like, yeah. uh, "Where's the music?" <laughs> and <laughs> and. Burst uh, in or we, peer in? Yeah, I'm going. He's to, in. So he's I'm standing in. right here, looking in. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, can I? Can I reach them with an arrow? Would I yes, be able to? Yes. Jay? Yeah, you can shoot. You can shoot uh, this guy with a bolt. These two guys are visible okay. to you. The other guys. Uh, we, this could be a bit more open, but but okay. yeah, you can see them enough that you could reach them with a bolt for sure. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, attack with my uh, because I've reloaded now. Yeah. So I yes I will attack with my crossbow. Okay. Um, just one, and that'll be a twenty-two to hit. Okay, that's a hit. And uh, that's four. But one quick second, I just want to check out my. Uh, there's an extra thing here. Dread ambusher. Uh, no, that's not it. Mm. Mm, to damage. Yes, if you take the attack action, you can make an additional weapon attack that deals an extra 1d8 damage of the weapon's damage type on hit. So, I will take another attack um, using Dread Ambusher. Okay. Uh, the start of your first turn of each combat. Yeah? Because yep. it's my first turn. Yep. Okay, cool. So, I will do the same thing again. Um, that is 18 to hit. Okay, that's a hit. And uh, 7 points of damage. Okay, so how many points in all? All told, that was uh, 12 points of damage. Five plus seven. <clears throat> okay. Um, and as it, you, you kind of, the bolt nicks through their side, you see blood kind of spray behind. Okay. Um, and then the other one, again, off its shoulder, blood spraying across the back. <clears throat> groaning as you did that. Um, who is up? Uh, can I use up. my movement to move back ever so slightly? Yep, you sure can. Sir. Okay. So you were here. Yeah, I was here. I was here. I'm here. Up. No, 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 that's not sorry. you. Uh, that's you. Me. You're Rrr. the small one. You... So you were here. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you want to go? Shot. I'm just going to move back to the party back here. Okay. So you move 10, 10 15, 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay. Back. All right. Now you said I can't fit through, right? No. Okay. Then I'm going to use the Vishnod crossbow. Uh, and I'm going to use Alchemist fire bolts, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. Oh. You can do that? Well, I've got the ones that we. We're given yes. yeah. by our Vistani friends. Yeah. Um, nice. Thanks, God. Yeah, okay. So that's a 15 and an 11 to hit. Uh, the 15 hits. 15 hits, okay. So I guess the 11 is an alchemist fire that goes rogue. <laughs> oh, no. Because they're alchemist fire bolts. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm going to say it just it misses and ignites against the back wall. Okay. Lights the one, one of the that, that hits. <laughs> oh. Now we can see. <laughs> now it says that it does 1d4 damage, uh, uh, fire damage. I think that's on top of the regular bolt yeah. damage. Yeah? yeah okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Ooh. The that's max damage right there. Okay. That's 11 plus one point of fire damage. So 11 piercing damage, one point of fire damage, and being an alchemist fire, it should go boom. And uh, I'm hoping that others will be caught in the boom. Okay, uh, can, you can you look up alchemist fire for me? Um, and give me those rules. Which one are you attacking? Uh, the same one? Well, I if I can see one that's a little further back, because I want to yeah, be able to catch people in yeah, spray. The one at the so, back. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry, so he takes 11 piercing, and one fire? Yes. And the others within the spray will get fire as well. I just need to know what the range on that is and how that works. For the alchemist fire, right? Yeah. Sorry, it takes a while to type on this. Is 
there something you wanted to ask me? Well, you could <laughs> tell me that. Um, Esmeralda, you're up. Uh, I'm just gonna like politely like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse mm-hmm. me. And then like, I like look through, when I can see through the door, I'm gonna cast a fireball yes. right nice. on, right over that that circle. Into the concrete oh, room. You're gonna ruin oh. those chairs. Yeah. Sorry, they're gonna have to make another Ikea run. Oh. <laughs> well, Basically that. right there. Yes. Wow! <laughs> Basically, yes. Look at that. Awesome. All right, so that is dexterity saving throws for all of them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong. It doesn't get splash. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of acid, I think. Mm. So it's just like flaming on a five foot spot, I believe. Okay. 15 is the DC. 14. One passes, two fail. Oh, uh, three fail. One pass, three fail. Okay. Come on, damage. 30 points of damage (laughs) for full, and then 15 half damage for the- What? There's there's only four in there. It's like you're ruining his game. 30? (laughs) But they're all fireproof. Fireball, Uh, baby. It's the first time I've like gotten to not like- so there is never an opportunity where we see shit happening in one room and where none of us are, are in that in room yet. Yeah. So <laughs> true. <laughs> Thanks for making this happen, Jay. Perfect. We've we burned everywhere <laughs> we've gone. Exactly. <laughs> that first one that that uh, fell for already attack just combusts. Mm. Just like <laughs> <laughs> I just um, have a spontaneous and laugh. Is at ash. That. The the <laughs> chairs all get blown back. Um <laughs> Give me, uh, Sterling, I would say you and Esmeralda, give me a, uh, give me a perception check, please. Sterling? We, we came here for some nine. sort of proof. Yeah, we've set the house on fire. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Shoot. We yeah. just triggered a, a memory in Jay. Yeah, we did, but okay. 19. The chairs are magical. Mm. 19? <laughs> the chairs are mimics, yes, 19. <laughs> okay. And a nine. Um, it's hard for me to peek under the. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I. You know what? I messed up. Don't worry about the perception check because it's okay. Um, oh. Okay. At this point, it's okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> all right, so, and the rest just, their robes, their cultist robes kind of like all go up in flames and they're all wearing the same black kind of uniform robe. Um, and it just all goes up in a flame. The chairs are blown across the, the room. It's not good. All right. I'll, I'll say, we need to ask questions. <laughs> uh, not to them, but to uh, us, like, we guys, only come need on. One for that. Okay, uh, that was Esmeralda Travas, you're up. Yeah, uh, ha. I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll do pretty, pretty much what Falcon did, so I'll come to the edge of the opening and I'll just fire uh, my short bow and then retreat. Okay. Uh, it's a nine. <laughs> As I just quickly, like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go in there and you're yeah. like, holy crap, it's just flames and explosions yeah. happening and you just fire it hoping to hit something, but the smoke and everything yeah. going in there when is, I come back out, is nuts. When I come back out, yeah. um, I I want to look, I, we heard all that running around, I want to look towards the stairs. Perception check. And just uh, keep an eye out uh, that, in that direction uh, with my amazing 10. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, you don't. You, you kind of listen to both stairs. You do hear the rain outside because you guys didn't close this door oh, when you came in. Oh yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. But you don't hear anything from the other stairs. And at this point, the creaking has stopped. Hmm. Oh. It, but the ceiling's still on fire. It's yeah. smoldering. <laughs> this ceiling yeah. is on fire too. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's spreading. Why do we always? But do it, this? it's not like a blaze. But it's starting to 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 really spread okay all right um 
<laughs> they might be cultists, but we're totally pyros. <laughs> we, like, we burn yeah. down every single house we're in. <laughs> it's too bad it can't be raining inside. <laughs> uh, says the emo teenager. Yeah. It's too bad it can't be uh, raining inside. It's always raining in my heart. My heart. <laughs> Sterling, can you give me a um, dexterity saving throw, please? Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe yeah, you because you're you next to it. me, you have a plus three on that save. Oh, Whoa, great. So All right, so that's 19. Yeah. 19. Yes. Oh, that's oh, a pass. pass. Whoa. Cool. Half um, And th- there is there is kind of like a, a dark energy that descends on you <gasps> as one of them kind of does this and brings it down. And you manage it. You manage to just shrug it off. You can feel the weight of it, but it doesn't have any effect. Hmm. Nice try. Okay. <laughs> um, the next one looks at you, and I and. and <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, know, you should have seen Brandon bat his eyelids just now. That was so great. That was oh, amazing. Man. He got me a little. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Man. Like, <laughs> what can I say? He's just lovable. And points at you. I'd like you to give me, uh, and says... Your mother was a toaster. And says, <laughs> flee, she says to you. Okay. Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, and you have plus yeah. three to that save. <laughs> I do. Plus three. Come on. An additional good, plus good. three. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. All right, so it's a 21 all time. Ah. Okay. You start to feel it take hold, and then it, you snap out of it. Again, um, nice try. Good thing you're wearing that tinfoil hat. <laughs> good, yes. Yeah. Right? It keeps everything out. Keeps everything out. Man alive. Um, I would like you to give me a... Wisdom saving throw, please. Another? Oh, man. You have it's the only one they can see. On. And a plus three on plus that. Plus three. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So that's at 50, 18. Dude, this come boulder. Come on, come on. Come on, big money, big money. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one <laughs> looks in your direction um, and does like a, a constricting movement, and you feel your joints begin to kind of like tighten up. And then you shrug it off. Yeah! Yes. yeah. <laughs> Another nice try! <laughs> man, you got All right. <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Oh, man, that's awesome. We can take the fireball away. Oh, yeah. I'll keep it uh, close. One. <laughs> yeah. Four, five, six. Oops. I messed up that thing. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're going five. in. Yes. Six. I enter. The fire. Goodbye to me. And I will swing at this first one. Okay. With my sword. Okay. And it is a... You'd have to move a little closer to that one, but yeah. Two. Okay. You would have had enough movement, I think, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Yeah, you're fine. I believe in yeah. you, Dimitri! Uh, does a twelve hit? It sure does. Okay. No, it doesn't. I lied. Oh. Uh, as 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 it swings, it moves out of, out of the way. Whoa! Uh, I'll say mm, like that, eh? And I'll swing again. <laughs> yeah. Do it. And now it's a twenty-seven to hit. That's a hit. <laughs> it's not right yeah, if that it. misses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then what is it? Six. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Six, seven, is um, it's thirteen. Uh, slashing, but I'm also going to add Divine Smite. Yes, mm. yes, you are. Nice. Yes. And... Smite divinely. Uh, what it, is this... W- would it be an undead no. creature? Okay. Then I I do a, a 2d8 radiant. Cool. All right, extra five radiant, so that's 13 slashing, five radiant. 18 points. 18 points. <clears throat> Uh, how would you like to kill that specific yes. cultist? Hmm. Well, seeing as it dodged my first attack, I'll do a little 360. <laughs> so that's how it is. Eh? And before you end, I'll go, we need one alive! <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll quickly do the math. Got it. And I'll keep <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Love it. Uh, cleaved in twain. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Oh, oh man! man. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I need that in science game. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so I will uh, I will again position myself enough to get a shot off. I'm going to shoot though for the leg of one of these cultists. I'm just trying to take them Call down. Shot. Okay. Non lethal damage. Non- you can do non. Okay, so the the, the, the rule behind non lethal damage okay. is when you're going to do a final blow, you yeah. can decide that it's. You put them unconscious instead of killing them. So you would tell me that yes. was a damage that yes. could kill yes. it. What do you want to do? Yes. Fair enough. Okay, so I'll just I'll just aim for it then. Yes. Not call it. And because uh, then it's disadvantage. If it's that's a call that's shot. right. So I'll just do the normal shot. That is twenty two to hit. That's a hit. And come on now, please. Wow, four points of damage. I am useless tonight. Useless. How would you like to kill the what? smoldering cultist? Wow. That's okay, so this you. time I'm actually going to. Or you, you 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 shot at it? Which yeah. one? Yeah. So this one. I was over here. Okay, so you can also not just knock it out. So you can decide that your damage is non-lethal. Yeah. So I'm I so non-lethal, and I want to just knock it out. Like I, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and he falls prone. Okay. And unconscious. Okay. I think I saved that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> next is Sterling. Uh, oh, probably on deck. right. Okay. Um, I'm firing twice. Uh, that's a 21 and a 10 to hit. Uh, 21 hits. 21 hits. So that is that's, uh, 11, 16 points of damage. 16 <clears throat> on that one? Piercing magical. Okay. All right. And that goes through his gut. And like explodes at the back, and he like grabs it as blood just pours from his wound, uh, and he looks up at you, and it kind of falls to one knee. Mm. <clears throat> I'm just kind of like peeking through, like yeah. Like, oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and that's your. Is, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Do I, you fired once or twice? Did you get two attacks? No, I, I did two attacks. Oh yeah, but one you was, one. one yeah, was yeah. a miss. Esmeralda, you're up. Travasser on deck. I just imagined that hey. this guy would be like, you know, I could be the one I, you question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, Esmeralda, Esmeralda very much enters the room okay. and says, well, now, it looks like you have a decision. You can be the one to talk and your friend dies, or you die and we let your friend talk. Hmm. Um, okay. He looks at you and sneers. Give me a perception check, please. Okie dokie. Is this angel face? Or this one is yeah, which one is this? this one. It's a dirty 20, by the way. Okay. With a dirty 20, um, you can, you watch this person and this one um, happens to be uh, the balding hulk of a man. He's, he's got a bald head. It's all scarred now and, and smoldering, and his clothes are all smoldering. Uh, but he's the big, bald one. Mm. Um, and I guess now, at this point, we're out of... That's up to him. If he wants... If he doesn't want to talk... Okay. Um, at this point, he pulls out a dagger and he goes to jab it in his throat. If you'd like to do something, give me a dexterity check to see if you want to stop it. Yes. Uh, can I do instead, can I evil eye hold person on him? You sure can. All right, so nice. then uh, you have to make a, uh, what kind of save is that? Is it a wisdom save? For hold person, because it just says a whole bunch of stuff under evil eye, so I can't look What's up the, the spell. DC? 14. I believe it's a wisdom save. Okay. Um, he goes, as you as you go to cast it, he stops suddenly and fights through it into his throat. Oh. <clears throat> Blood pours from his throat, and he falls to his other knee and falls prone. All right. Well, I guess that was option three. Tie him up <laughs> to, to the uh, to the uh, the one that's unconscious. Okay. Yes. So yeah, we should tie him up. I'm, Let's. I'm just, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna let you finish. But I, I'm gonna take my water skin and try to find some water if there is any, 
and I'm gonna start squeezing like a bagpipe to try to put out the flames <laughs> in the ceiling. Okay, and as you, <laughs> you can, but the water's not, it, <laughs> but now it's actually started to kind of like blanket, like <laughs> over the bottom, and you can hear it creaking. Oh man. Uh, we have a bit of a problem uh, with the house. Quickly, like can I to... just quickly inspect the room before we head out? Like, well, we should probably like hoist him up on somebody. Mm, I can yep. do it. Get out of here. Give me an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> At 20, baby! Oh, hey. That is a total of Boom. 26. I feel so bad that he built nice. all of this. And, and give me a perception fire. check as well. Here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Everything up burns. 21 for uh, perception. Okay. Well, all the evidence. Um, oh, man. You watch as... One sec. Kill time for two seconds. Yeah. So, right, uh, what's it, AC? Do, 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 do. You gotta <laughs> check the bodies, right? Yeah, so how do you keep track of initiative so well, Jason? Is it this? You can't ask me when I say to kill time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this one, so Joe. Okay, maybe Adam can answer that question. So, normally I find when someone says that's the end of my turn, moving it to the next one really doesn't trick. <laughs> yep. Um, also, a question I had. Is it possible that the person who jabbed himself in the neck with the dagger would have chosen for it to be a non-lethal? <laughs> <laughs> how do you want to finish this? And as no, a I shot like how you did not take this opportunity to yeah. role play right. any dialogue. It's like, no, let's let's discuss some rules here True. amongst yeah. ourselves. Good point, Esmeralda. <laughs> to which I answer. <laughs> do you think we need to loot the bodies before we go if possible. Uh, yes, that's, uh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Take a look at whatever. I, I'm, I'm like looking around mm -hmm. I'm already. I'm just shocked at how, how much Jay has built here and how okay. little we explored before okay. bringing it all down. All right, so um, who's tying up the, the... I will. The cult? Okay, so Dimitri gets up, you, you, you walk over, you begin to tie a rope around. Not Travaz, he doesn't have any that, rope please. left. Okay. No, I picked it up. I grabbed it. Travas yes. is oh, yeah. trying to water the, the ceiling. It's not working. You start to hear the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see it starting to... Oh, my gosh. Okay. As, one of the, as one of the joists goes... No, no, and no. It falls down, okay? So it's starting to come down. Um, what are you doing, Sterling? Uh, I'm going to carry this dude out. Mm. Uh, yeah. Once, the, once he's brought over to you? So you're well, readying I, an action I, to kind of carry him out? I had 30 seconds left, so I'm assuming I'm probably pretty close to out, if not. I would say now that initiative ended, yeah. the time kind of speeds up a little bit, and I'd say that at this point you're out. Cool. Okay, so I'll, I'll be not back not to regular sterling size, and okay. I can carry the dude out, and I'm kind of shouting to the others, if possible, <clears throat> loot the bodies. We need evidence. Hmm. I, I'm really torn between running back to loot the bodies, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is run to the edge of the stairs and look out to see if anybody's waiting for us outside before we run out. Yeah, which stairs? The stairs to go outside. Okay, so you Just run. Enough to you kind can't of see it here, out. but you have to go up the, or you can go from here and look up. I, I think I'll have to go up the stairs a bit okay. so that I can take a little bit okay. of a look around. So you kind of look around and it doesn't appear to be anybody like at the doorway, because that's all you can see at that angle. Yeah. There's nobody at I, the doorway. I would even go up enough that my eyes are above ground level. Are you trying to be careful? A, yeah. Give me a stealth check. I'm going to ask well, you that. I'm seeing that Dave's 20. hands in three different nice. cameras. I know it. I'm uh, I'm casting pass without a trace at this point. Okay. So that's going to be a forty for me. Okay. Natural twenty. Yeah. So as you come up, give me a perception check, please. Yes, sir. I've been sucking at those all night. It's a fifteen. Okay. Uh, you don't see anybody. Ah, oh, crap. Quiet. And the rain is still falling. The uh, it's picked up. The dex roll to tie him up is a dirty one. It's not as bad as a natural <laughs> that broke one. broke my brain for a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty convinced he's really well tied. Like, best knot you've ever done. It's not going anywhere. 
Okay. Uh, what do you? Uh, what did you say you were doing? You you cast Pass Without a Trace. Yeah, I cast Pass Without a Trace for us all, yeah. obviously. So an ex extra <clears throat> on our stealths. Yeah. Um, and now I'm I'm going to head. Uh, sorry, I'm going to take ten seconds and go into a trance, which I can do with as a bonus action or as an action. Um, and check if there is anyone outside the cellar door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, There's his fingernail. fingernail. There's his fingernail yes. still out there. Okay. All right. Uh, as you look out, you basically see like just the in front of the door and into kind yeah. of a, a little bit of a wooded area or whatever, okay. and the surrounding buildings. Um, and at this point, you can see that there's smoke coming out kind of in front, so you see basically in between a bit of the smoke coming through. Okay. Um, you can hear through it too, right? Yep. Okay. Hear NC. Um, at this point, you both hear distant calls, but nobody's here. Like, there's nobody outside that door. You don't know why. You don't know why help hasn't come. You don't know why people upstairs aren't investigating, but nobody's here. Esmeralda, what do you do? I'm in, I'm looting bodies. I'm checking the room before okay. we. So you start investigating. Out. You start looking through the bodies. Um, you start to see just regular clothing under these people's robes. Some of them are common. Some of them are a little bit more rich for Barovia, but not much. Mm. At which point, so you hear as you're investigating the room, you hear the candle stick in the corner. It rocks. You hear ding, 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 ding. And you're convinced that there is something invisible perched on top of it. And that's where we're going to end the session for this evening. No! <laughs> what? <clears throat> Invisibil things? On top of oh, Thank you, everyone, for watching this wonderful stream. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Sorry Omega couldn't make it. Uh, he's out of town uh, this week, but he will be back. Um, everyone, tune in for Aftermath on Thursday. It's going to be a good one. Um, and if you liked what you saw tonight, consider following and uh, hitting that bell icon and sharing and all of that wonderfulness. Um, and stay tuned for... <laughs> and stay tuned for more Champions of the Realm news as we move forward. And oh my gosh. just Julian, just put it on the... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>